Oh, hello there. Hello. Hey, how are you? Welcome on in. The stream is up. People should be able to hear you. Hello, hello. There we go. All right. Um, stream is up. I have you on voice. Let's see. You know how you do the last minute, do I have everything? Yep. I'm like, do I have water? Do I have paint? I'm seeing if there will be a lady luck with us, but I think she has sewing class. <laughs> Pardon me. Harry, say, hey, Brianna, how are you? I, a wild Utahime has graced our presence. Oh, hey, Utahime. How are you, my friend? Um, I think, that, you know, let's see, before I turn away from this screen and sit where the paint is, do I have everything? <laughs> All right, I think we're good. And if not, I'm sure everyone will tell me. But hello, happy weekend. I'm doing pretty okay, good. It is, it is. It is officially the weekend. Also, new webcam get. Uh, for those of you that can see it, I have a new webcam. Also, this came in, so thank you, Mandy and Steven. I don't know if I'll put it together because it's a bunch of fiddly bits. Can you still hear me? Hello? Zero? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you first. Uh, you just cut out, but I can hear you. I see that I'm talking. Hey. Hear you now, yeah. That's oh, you know what? I wonder if you know what? I think Discord did the thing. It didn't change my my voice. Ah. It sh didn't change my mic. All right, now you should still hear me when I turn around. Yes, then hear you. Yeah, I got a um a, the MX Brio. It's the 4K one because it was not great. Yeah, Discord didn't update even though the web the webcam the um the the mic on the headset is the default in Windows. So thanks, Windows. Hey, Jory, how are you? Yeah, I well, honestly thought you had wandered into a different room and left the mic behind. No, I um. I switched and OBS and everything else was acknowledging my mic change except Discord. Of course. And work Slack does that to me all the time. When I do a when I do a Slack thing at work, it's like, who are you? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> um Actually, I'm gonna, this is going to sound weird. I'm putting a starian's head on a on a different thing. That sounds weird, but you all know what I mean. Oh, yeah. That Astaria is great, by the way. Thank you. There's still a lot of work to do. Um, but yes, his head is going to go here because that's a lot of detail work, which looks bad. No. I didn't. Sorry, Astarian. I didn't mean to behead you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, buddy. So ascended now, are you, buddy? Not anymore. Um, okay, so his couch is going to go over there. Because actually, tonight, we're going to um, start on our on everyone's favorite tiefling. Carlac. Yeah, Windows did the thing where it's like, I don't believe I'm going to change this. Yes, yeah, so the starting's head is now a Pez dispenser. That is accurate. <laughs> I 
I mean, it is what it is. Oh, exactly what I was looking for, which was a disposable palette. Because I don't feel like change. The one thing I didn't do before we started was change out my wet palette. So that's my fault. So how are you, Brianna? I've also actually got a ref pose up for once. For once in my life, I've got a reference image. How are you, Zero? How's your day been? Uh, it's been decent. I'm uh, actually tinkering with a new tarot card off and on. Uh, you are cutting in and out a little bit for me. Huh. I don't know if it's Discord or if it's microphone. Oh, it should not be the mics. Sure. Um, is, is Carlac more, Carlac's a darker red, yeah? Yeah. So the Carmine red is probably the better one. Although I really cannot tell much difference between 203 and 205. I literally cannot tell much of a difference. Uh, but how's everyone in chat? How's your Friday? What are you doing besides hanging out here with us? Hey, Leaf. Leaf, hello. Uh, let me see if Mandy said yes to joining chat or if she has her class today. She might have her class tonight. I don't know. Hold, please. Oh, it says call ended. Are you still there? Okay. Uh, I'm still here, yeah. That was weird. Discord said call ended. Huh. Still here, still puttering around in Photoshop. Yes, but um, my guess is uh, our friendly neighborhood pirate might be out and about. It is a Friday night. Oh, that's true. Got a nice new city to explore. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, but what was dinner, though, Jory? You have to share. You can't just tell us too much dinner. Um, I've lost a zero again. I'm still here. I don't know why, but it's like it's like you just keep dropping off mid-sentence but also this has happened to me and taru when we've been chatting on discord and i'm using a good xlr mic so i can't explain it Ooh, nice and i'm using uh the new mic so not sure what's going on well we'll figure it out but you know we're here we're chilling we're painting you know what i forgot about the important part of the paint and sip Sip. Sip. Yep. And I've got a little bit of nice. port behind me Ooh. that's still on my desk. Yes, I have no sip. I have a little <gasps> That's that's an <laughs> that's an insult to sipping. It is. It's what I got. I tried La Croix, I tried LaCroix, La Croix, however you say it. I I was mad that LaCroix existed. Yeah, I can see that. It's like flavor and water got in a fight, and water not only won, it beat the shit out of flavor. Yes. Uh, as our tap water here ain't exactly tasty. Like what I can... Oh, no, I feel you. I'm just more like... Somebody's like, oh, yeah, LaCroix is a great like soda substitute. And I was like, I ought to kick your ass for telling me that. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I was like, I ought to beat your ass just for, for telling me that lie. You know, like how some people tell you things and you're like, you were fucking with me, weren't you? Or they have just really convinced themselves. Yeah. Although I realized I need to double check if the bot's on because I just started streaming and didn't look. Uh oh. Hey, base. 
What up? How's your Friday going? Yeah, we uh we mini painting. I forget. Do you do mini painting based? Not much chill Friday. I have no plans. So I figured I would uh stay in, re refresh my nerd cred with uh, stay home painting minis. Yeah. That is going to be me. Yeah, Zero, I'm not sure what's going on. I wonder if, if you're, if it's the, the noise gate. All right, let me see if I can. Yeah, because I know you, you have the different mics. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I've had this one chatting with Taru on voice. You know, there are very many ways to do mini painting without expending a lot of effort. AKA my preferred method, because I'm lazy too. How have you been? I know you're out in California, so a lot of times your stream hours are when I'm already asleep. Hopefully that helped. Uh, a bit, yeah. All right. We'll figure it out. It's fine. Yep. Oh, you know what I realized? You don't have push to talk on, do you? I do not, no. Okay, that was my only other thought, but it seems to be better. Yeah, I had a, a gate in, on the setup. Oh, okay. Oh, did I just get red on my hands? I sure did. Well. All red on you. A wee bit of red, yeah. So, to, in today's Bad Decision Theater... I decided since I'm going to TwitchCon EU and I will be a train ride away from Amsterdam, I bought a one-day ticket to Twi to MagicCon Amsterdam. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, here's the fun thing. I can't get too much because I'll be flying internationally. Although I don't think I'm going to get a lot at TwitchCon because European sizes are very different. I discovered that oh, after yes. going to Amsterdam last time. Yeah, I bought what's my size in the U.S. It barely fit me. So, there was a whole lot of, well, and I just had a mental block of, I cannot buy clothes in a bigger size. I already feel a way about how I, about the size I wear. Yeah. I think I would have an emotional breakdown if I had to go up a size just to fit European sizing. I go to Europe and uh, I will never buy a piece of clothing there because I already feel a certain way about the shirts I wear. You and me both. Yeah, Sam had that problem. They bought a medium in the U.S. and uh, it was a wee bit too big. Oh, no. Yeah, they were able to exchange it, but still it was like... Huh. I mean, Sam is not a tall person, but yeah. But they were like, "Well, yeah, I'm gonna like work out and I'm gonna get a medium, so I have room." They were like, "I'm swimming in this; it's a medium." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ordering online, I'm always iffy about because they say like, "Oh, it's this size," and then when you get it, you're like, "I can't even fit one titty in here." At least for me. For me, that, it's my shoulder. Yeah, I have broad shoulders too. Mandy, uh, Mandy inherited a shirt I bought at GDC because it said my size. I think they meant that in junior. Oh. Because I literally could not get the shirt past like an arm. And I was like, what lie are y'all telling? Yeah, how have you been, Reese? Yeah, my, my fallback was playing Baldur's Gate 3, but I finally just said YOLO, fuck it, with the camera. This is as good as it's getting. Oh, I cannot see that. 
I'm hitting that. I really need a light right where I'm painting. Oh, yeah. Because I think I just... No, I didn't hit the strap. Okay. I thought I hit, like, one of the many straps on her armor. Before I went on, though, I was watching Thormengander. Uh, they're, they're playing Elden Ring with a driving wheel. I'm sorry, what? Th one of Thor's things is playing games with, with odd controllers, and they are playing Elden Ring and doing way better than I ever have with a fucking steering <laughs> wheel. And I was like, you know what? I quit. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, that's my gaming career, everyone. Peace. I mean, J-Rock used to do that with um, with a standard controller, but he'd play with his feet. Okay. Yep. I'm done. And I'm like, okay, I can't even beat the first boss with a regular-ass controller in two hands. I beg we, your we pardon. We had a good run. Right? You're like, well, here we are. I, I had my glory days in the arcade. I guess it's over now. Uh, it's just one of the things of you're like, you know, I got to respect it, but also fuck you. And don't get me wrong. I, I adore Thorm and Gander. I got to meet them in person at PAX East. They're very lovely, but still. I'm like, I had to recruit people to help me beat Margit. And you out here on Molina with a steering wheel. Yep. That's so, just insulting. I'm just like, I ha I have to acknowledge the greater skill. So. Base, what have you been up to? What have you been playing? Uh, actually, everyone in chat and you, Zero, what have y'all been playing lately? Too much Helldivers. Nice. Oh, really? I didn't realize you were you were Bellatro main these days. How are you? How are you? Um, enjoying it? I I find it intriguing, and it does kind of scratch that. I need to figure out a strategy itch, but you can't really do that with a roguelike. Oh, the CM was kind enough to give me a code. And I think it'll probably be better as a Steam Deck game for me. Oh, really? I like it. I just also don't know poker rules that well. So sometimes I just don't. It doesn't click for me. Oh, how are you finding a Dream Daddy? I haven't played it in a very long time. I think it's even uninstalled. Say, yeah. I also have that title. Yeah. Ah, oh, my. Oh. Sorry, my. You know how you're like, your your eye decides to itch? Right when you're in the middle of doing something? Always when I'm painting. My eyes, my nose. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, the nose itching when I'm on camera without fail. And in my case, it's also when I'm wearing makeup and I'm like, I did not spend all the time to put on makeup just to rub it off right now. All these little fiddly bits under her hair are going to irk me, but. Also, I have infamously very little patience. You know, I just realized I'm trying to figure out how to get into this part where the heart is. Uh. I think I've got an angle. I do have an angled brush. Okay. Because it, it actually, where the straps are, lifts up a little bit where the where the machine heart is on the character. Yeah. Does it do it on the mini, too? 
ye- it lifts up like I'm sure I'm, I should paint that part like orangey yellow, but there's actually like a little bit of it's like a space here, so it's Damn, not. That's a good print. It's an 8K print. <laughs> I like it, so I like watching um, Nordenheim play it. But I think every time I open it, it's like, you need a 20 gig update. I'm like, oh, shit. By the time this downloads, I won't have time to play it. I have an account. The last two updates for Enshrouded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just had another update and I looked at it and it's updating the entire game. It's a Uh, tiny little patch and then the entire game. Oh, uh, is it like re-verifying all the files? Yep. Dang it. Well, at least that's a dark color I can paint over it. Yeah, this is a very, very detailed piece. Oh, speaking of of, uh, of Baldur's Gate, though. Um, Sam's not going to be there, but many of the Baldur's Gate actors are announced at Dragon Con. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so um, Theo is going. Uh, Neil Nubon, Aliona, Devora, and um, the actor for Shadowheart. What's her fucking name? Shit, now I'm blank. Jen. Jen something, and I'm blanking on her name. Jennifer England. Thank you. They are announced to be guests at Dragon Con. So if you are a Dragon Con enjoyer or attendee, uh, they will be there. Also, shout out to Neil for landing the uh, voice of Vecna. He talked about it a little bit on stream yesterday. Yeah, uh, I missed that and had no idea. And- they uh, dropped that new trailer today, and I was like, holy shit, that's Neil. That's awesome. Oh, there's another trailer? Yeah. Oh, shit. I need to go look. I only heard the first one. We'll pull the link. Um, <clears throat> if, I, if I hadn't seen him share the other Vecna thing, I wouldn't have known it was him. Uh, they, uh, it... Launched three days ago, but they talked about it on Twitter. That might have been it, but I'll go ahead and uh, drop the link. Oh, so, is there like new Vecna content coming? Um, yeah, the adventure Eve of Ruin is uh, up for pre-order and is dropping pretty. Huh. Yeah. And it is a high level can, but also it's evidently something that they've been plotting Easter eggs and all the other fifth edition books for. And I love that. Oh, really? I never yeah. caught that. That's cool. So in all of the other books, um, or in the majority of them, every now and again, you'll come across a description of this adventure or that adventure or an obelisk. And it's just there. It doesn't really have anything to do with the adventure. It's described differently every time, but it's always there. And evidently, these are what Vecna is using. Rewrite the multiverse. Oh. Interesting. I am really, really stoked for this. Huh. News to me. I am not able to order it, but I should be getting it digital. I'll try physical copy after the. You say after the move or after the Kickstarter? Uh, after the move. <laughs> also, because I don't want to move with another book, I have too many already. Oh, I part of my task tomorrow. Hey, Tori is to box up all the duplicates of uh, <laughs> D&D books that I've got. And it's like, I'm grateful to be on the PR list, especially now because I'm not even on a show. But I do not need two copies of literally everything. 
adventures. The prequel adventures folks can get right now. But yeah. And there's like, are there dice or was that just for Lego D and D? There's dice, yeah. Especially if you do the um, uh, book and digital bundle, I know they're going to have special sets of dice on. on. Oh, really, base? I didn't. I didn't realize that you uh, that you played. I've been jonesing for a game, but as we know, the BBEG of all D and D plotting is a schedule. I am writing all this shit for Dungeons and Dragons and played in a I haven't really played since well in a regular campaign since Black Dice ended. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I have feelings about it. I've talked about it a bit, but I feel away with all these oh my god, I would love to be at a table with you. It's my dream. And you see yep. those same fucking people announcing projects left and right. Yep. Hey, One of the things I'm hoping to you? do um, when we get back is start running at least more one shots. So I yeah. can get more people sitting at the table and playing, you know? Yeah. Hey, Fritz. Uh, can I get a shout out for based in for Fritz? Yeah, we're just chatting, chilling. Uh, when I take a break, I will go get something to sip on or turn around and grab my wine. Um, I probably need to switch to a very small brush now. And get paper towels, because I didn't grab a paper towel. Good job, me. Your, your intrepid streamer is not prepared today. But I found a napkin. That will have to do. I have issues with start playing because of some of the people involved. One of the people who started is someone I really fucking hate now. So I'm not going to support that. Also, I feel like they should have better minimums. There are games on there as low as $2 and 50 cents. I'm sorry. I am. I am never. If I'm taking the time to DM a game. I'm going to charge what I'm worth. And if you only think you're worth 250, <laughs> you got other problems. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Yeah, I said it. Well, also the fact that someone joined a Discord I helped moderate and immediately wanted to start shilling their games on there under uh, the guise, oh yeah. They were like, "Is it okay to look for people?" Well, yeah, 250 base. There, there. You set your own prices, and there are games as low as two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents. I can't there. even hit the extra value meal with that. What are we doing? And I guess, well, if you're running enough games, and then you get you build up a reputation, you probably can charge more. And I'm like, they'd hate my rates. Mm-hmm. Also, I've been kind of burned with the whole pay-to-play DM bullshit. <laughs> wow, base was so incense. It was a, uh, it was censored out. <laughs> um, <coughs> I've also got weapons to paint for this. That is a random hand that keeps showing up. I've also got three hands. Oh, that's nice. They give you options. If only I had a girlfriend to appreciate it. Dim, dim. Look, it's been a long pandemic. <laughs> no, one of them goes with this bust because I also bought a bust from the same shop. Oh, cool. So, but now I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I think it's this one. Yep, it's this one. Because they both come with an axe. Oh, nice. Yeah, so basically the axe kind of wedges in the fingers and is over the shoulder. That's cool. So the bust only has one arm. I was like, why do I have three arms for Carla? So while this dries, and put her back. 
because it's, it's kind of diorama ish like the astarian piece hey pakara oh okay. no S- sleeps please get all the sleeps if you need it um so i don't know what you charge zero but for i mean when i'd been asked how much i charge if it's dming i've told people up to 400 an hour because of the amount of time it takes and the prep especially if it's like a big thing oh that is a lot of steps picaro or oh my god picara all good did you just combine Pukara and Picaro? I did. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Okay. It's been that kind of day. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, I've only ever really had one issue of sticker talk when someone asked me uh, to pay in a game for them. And to their credits, they didn't make a huge fucking deal about it, but it was just Uh, you dropped. I said, to their credit, they didn't make a huge deal out of it. Okay. They just didn't have the budget. And I was like, yeah, that's totally understandable. But they were looking at some of the things I make, some of the things I've written in the past, uh, some of the like, overlays and stuff that I've done on the uh, one shots I've run on my own channel. They're like, how much would you charge? And I'm like, uh, for a three to four hour session, you're, you're looking at four, gi- four digits if you want the full production yeah like, you have oh, to, wow well i mean if you're making the overlays all of that etc and doing the dming that's a lot yeah. of fucking work it's a lot of work and and for me those the price i would give people is if a company wanted to pay me an individual if depending on who it was and for charity games i would never charge for a charity game to be in it or to run it and if anyone ever tried to pay me for a charity game, I'm like, no, just give that to the charity. Oh, for sure. Because for a while, remember, we had people charging to do charity games. And I'm like, y'all ought to be ashamed. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't want to get it. I'm good. Yeah. Also, I need to know who does Carlax Nails. They're so well groomed. That's one thing. Especially for a barbarian. <laughs> right? Like you ain't broken nail yet. Um I just had the worst thought, and it's incredibly inappropriate. Go ahead. <laughs> My brain went to how does that work out when when um well <laughs> it's after dark fuck it we go in there when when it comes to fingering and tieflings if you all have claws uh well in carlac's case i mean she gets benefits from it taking damage every round and that's a very barbarian thing okay i mean file she maintains down. her rage so uh file two down okay base Okay, but what okay, what if one person's a tiefling and the other is Abderak? He'd be into it. Ooh. Yeah. Uh and That's for it. those what? We've got people on main talking about how they want to fuck Vecna, so all bets are off with the monster fucking discussion. But Carlac's not a monster. Rolling up on the Twitter timeline talking about snapping into a Slim Jim. No. (laughs) Absolutely not. Oh, Withers has entered the chat. Oh, boy. Now, would people be doing that if Vecna was not voiced by Neil? I don't know if it if it started before that or not. I think it was I think it really kicked off when they revealed Vecta's new design. I guess. I mean, Neil voicing him is just kind of a happy bonus for those uh who are inclined 
to uh, seek out Vecna. They want the hand of Vecna in a whole new way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We should probably just add After Dark Chat to the title. <laughs> Well, here we are. And and this is how I got banned off Twitch. <laughs> hey, you had a good run. It was almost 10 years. We almost got there. Yeah. Close enough. Look, some of the weirdo shit I've seen people say and do on streams, if that got me banned, uh, I would be I would yell about it. Shit. What? Oh, some of the shit that people pull on Twitch and they still have channels. It's like, okay. Base, you are not that bad. You are not that bad. You just you just have some adult conversations and you be talking real shit. That's that is not a bad thing. Like oh, any affection towards Vecna is really just the irresistible urge to crack open a cold one. <sighs> Y'all got post therapy me. Oh shit! Like, <laughs> like literally went to therapy today or in general? <laughs> I think you broke Reese. <laughs> I mean, some people like their dried fruit and dried meat on the go. I don't know. Gotcha. Base, are you going to do TwitchCon now that it's back in California? <laughs> are you? So my only qualm with TwitchCon is, A, I will have already been in Glasgow a month prior and depending on where we are in work and development, I may or may not be able to take a bunch of time off. Because that would be a lot of time. Uh, hmm? I didn't know that the cons were that close together. So TwitchCon is late September. Um, Dragon Con and PAX are always the same. Weekend, the first weekend in um, September, because they both overlay Labor Day. Right. Which is why Pirate will never be at PAX West. I guess it depends on what you want out of it. Isn't Dragon Con also like five days long? Holy shit. I think. I don't know. That is a Pirate, where are you? We need you question. Eight. This looks so weird, but it's but it's her tail. I think it's five days long. I am ninety nine percent sure Dragon Con is a five day convention. I could be wrong. Oh, I wouldn't make it all five days at all. But it's also turning into, I guess, a con where people go earlier and earlier. Oh. Because uh, I think it was Pirate was saying, like, people now show up on Wednesday. Damn. I don't want to be nowhere that damn long. I mean, I... The longest I... con I ever did was four <laughs> days, and no, oh, I'm good. I mean, that's PAX West and PAX East. They're both four days. Unplugged is the one that's three days. Actually, uh, based if you want to get into uh, TTRPG stuff again, you should come to uh, PAX Unplugged. That is in December ooh, yeah. in Philly. This brush is fucked up. And I just used it. There we go. No. Uh, the one that gets me, though, is South by Southwest. It is 12 days. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I mean, it's all different tracks and stuff, but imagine working it. Oh, fuck that. I cannot imagine being anywhere for 12 days. I went to London when they brought me and they brought me over for uh, the gaming award game. Award, ga gaming mag awards. God damn it. Okay. This is not working. Uh, 
they brought me over for gaming awards when I got the icon. And most of it was on, even on someone else's dime. But by day seven, I was like, I should have took my ass home. I was very ready to go home by like the week point. And it's not like there's a dearth of things to do in London. I was yeah. just tired. I was like, there's only so many times I can take a boat trip and see the London Eye. Nope, if I'm going to be anywhere for that long, it's going to be pure vacation. I mean, the event was like, I really just had two days of obligation, and not even two full oh, okay. days. It was, you know, kind of the day before, there was some socializing, and then it was just a very long night. Um, but I wanted to get there a couple days early so I could get over jet lag and actually be awake for the whole event. Um... Uh, since we're talking travel, when you go somewhere zero, if there's like a time difference, do you acclimate quickly or you do you need to be there for a couple days to kind of? Pretty quickly. Yeah. And that just comes from um, when I was growing up, my mom had to do rotating shift work. So adjusting to different times and whatnot came pretty naturally to me. Uh... I may have like. A little bit of, of tiredness, but I usually bounce back pretty quick. See, what I've found is I acclimate fine going there, especially if it's if it's out of the country and I've flown overnight and slept most of the way there. It's when I come home that I get screwed up. Oh, yeah. Uh, that could just be an hour away and I'm different. No, it's me coming back home. Back to life, back to reality. reality. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, so while I'm very much looking forward to Rotterdam and then Glasgow in August, I know that I'm going to be ruined for about a week yep. after. So I'm going to come home and go, I'm so tired. Oh, shit. It's 5.30. Why am I so tired? Oh, because it's midnight back in the UK. Also, it doesn't help them a night owl to be. Oh, are you? Just getting the sleep schedule. Oh, yeah. Both Catherine and I are total night owls. Uh, that's why we're not very more people. Our work schedule. <laughs> Way I when I pop into your stream early in the morning, I'm like, no, I need I need coffee. For anything else happens. I feel that I well, you've seen my coffee maker. I could in theory actually program it to start at a certain time of day. Shit, uh, you know what I realized? Uh, I forgot to do my second glucose thing for the day. Uh oh. Yeah, that takes like thirty seconds though. And at yeah. some point, I'm going to need a break, and I'm going to uh, need... I would like to get a sip part of the sip going. Let's say, why, why don't you have it there with you? Because I'm goofy. I freely admit I fucked that up. Okay, the rest of this, other than getting under this rib cage. Hey, Mavican, it... It was good. It was a, thankfully it was a light meeting day, but it was a lot of also, well, I need to self-task because right now there's not a lot going on. And I discovered I do not do well without a schedule. Right. So... I, I read up on relevant comics... Which, you know, when you're reading comics for fun, is very different than when you're reading them for work. <laughs> True. Um, and I made another tray bake. Because I had chicken that was not going to last much longer if I didn't cook it or freeze it. Also, I realized I am bad at time management when it comes to... Uh, cooking oh 
So I'm not used to cooking daily or at least every other day. Uh. And so it's making myself basically know tonight I'm going to make X. I will have the ingredients prepped. Like when I take lunch, I should like chop up the veggies I need and put them in a container. So later when I'm ready to throw things in the oven or the Instapot, I don't have to do 20 minutes of prep for a 10 minute meal in the crock pot or Instapot, you know? It's weird. We're usually better about that sort of stuff. Autumn or winter, but spring and summer, not so much. Oh no. And it's hard because it's nice. It's sunny. And granted, 60 isn't super warm. It's still nicer than it's been. Yeah. Oh, I think Pirate just got back. Oh, let me turn around and look so that way I can A, get my wine, and B, I'm going to keep talking. I'm just going to grab my wine. Is Pirate doing an extra stream? Um, not sure. I, uh, Steam told on him. Oh, Steam narked on him? Yep. Good job, Steam. Good job. I know this he's is... been having um, some issues with that uh, WW whatever it's called, and he's been going on and off and fix it. Mm. Yeah, he's been trying to revamp all influencer wrestling for WWE 24. Yeah. Uh, chat while I turn away and, and do the things. What's everyone been up to? How's your day going? I realized I just said I was going to take my glucose and then I drank some Coke Zero. <laughs> Can't take me nowhere, Zero. Woo! I turned on Overwatch. I turned off Overwatch. Ooh, wow. Okay. Ooh, and I got to get more. The My one thing I deeply hate about this whole process is the having to take my blood sugar twice a day, at least to start. Yeah. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Um, I tell you, I hate it. What? Why did you turn on and then turn off Overwatch? Hey, antiquated. Hey. Yeah. Oh shit! I need my phone. Cause the app I use is on my phone. Ah. It's very handy. But I'm very tired of stabbing myself. I've decided the blood meter is called a star in. <laughs> it would. I. What else am I going to call it? Oh, uh, that's fair. I mean, there's Regis, which is the vampire from The Witcher. I could say Strahd. I mean, so if you if you were someone who had to take your blood for this and you had to basically poke yourself daily uh -huh. and the the device that has to drink your blood, basically, what would you call your glucose meter? Carmilla. What? Carmilla. Why Carmilla? Because it's an old famous vampire story. And one of the first female vampires in fiction. Oh, I did not know that. Yep. That's why eventually in games like Castlevania, you start seeing characters named Carmilla. Oh, okay. Because I'm that kind of literature nerd. Hey, that's good, though. Oh, 
it's actually Bob or IRS. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, so uh not that anyone cares but me. Uh but post meal glucose is actually good. Sweet. And I did roam around today, so I'm giving myself fifteen minutes of exercise. Yeah, I still don't quite know the proper range to put the fucking meter in. But basically, as long as I don't, I think the high range is 180 after a meal. Yeah. And I'm still like reducing carbs and all that shit. So I just, I just don't like that this thing has to drink my blood. Is the Huh? That is the unfortunate side effect. So apparently there are things, there are continuous glucose meters, which I didn't know was a thing. Okay. It's, you know, when you see people with um a kind of like a small thing that's stuck to them, it looks almost like a bandage or something. Yeah. You wear one. Um... You wear one and it it's good for like two weeks or something, or maybe even three weeks. And it just continuously monitors your glucose. And then you there's an app and you wave the app over the thing. And it te- and it helps you know like, oh, well, I had too many carbs today. Maybe something like that. That's cool. But. For whatever reason, oh, that's not what I was trying to do. I was not trying to do the glucose again. I'm trying to close the app. There we go. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Oh, I did not realize you were in the health profession, Mavican. But yeah, the... um. The nutritionist, specialist, whatever the name is we're using. Um, suggested one, and maybe when I go for my follow-up to try one. Because then it can actually give my hands a break of stabbing myself twice a day. I'm used to it. I don't like it, but it is what it is. So, yeah, that's my life right now. Um, time to paint the boobs. Hey, boobs. Hey, boobs are great. They are. And maybe if incels actually saw real boobs, they wouldn't be such shitty people. I mean, I have plenty of alpha douche bros who have seen boo. They're still shitty people, so I don't know. Well, shit, you got me there. Yeah, I always, I'm always curious when people are like, oh my god, I wish I had like a big chest. I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't, because once you see what bras cost when you got big titties, mm mm. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, my my oh, partner did not. Catherine. Yeah, my partner did not realize how much it costs until I sat him down and explained it. He was like, "Oh, it's a racket, man! Holy shit!" Well, you know that if men got charged for underwear based on their size, that shit would change immediately. Uh huh. Hey. <laughs> he said racket. It is a oh my god, motherfucker. Yep, there it is. God damn it. It wasn't me this time. <sighs> well. Well. Wow. Wow. At least you have port. <laughs> I guess. Again, you have Port. I have LaCroix. I think you're coming out ahead. 
I'm just glad I wasn't actually drinking it when I made that revelation. Oh, yes, Kathy. Port. We, yes, there's some port. So, you know, one thing I haven't quite done, and I don't know that I will do this, because also I don't drink to excess. Um, but alcohol is a factor when you have to think about your blood sugar. Um, but I'm also not sitting here drinking like a bunch of super sweet wine or or stuff like that. Yeah. Um, someone's like, well, I guess you can't drink anymore. I'm like, the fuck I can't. <laughs> if you're already drinking in moderation, you're. Yeah, but I think a lot of people here and I mean, I freely admit I had this immediate thought myself of. Well, I can never eat anything that tastes good again, and that's not actually true. Yeah. Ooh, Catherine wants what type of port? Uh, hold that thought. I will have to... I may have to take a trip into the kitchen. No worries. So I was like, uh... I just bought it, but the bottle's not in front of me. There will be some left by the time you two come visit. I'm not going to go through a whole bottle of port in a week. And since you won't be driving, you can enjoy some. Yep. Yeah, we tried the wine on the train, and that was a mistake. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I also tried the coffee on the train. That, too, was a mistake. But, you know, if you're desperate... Uh, any port of storm. Get the... Mm. Hey, Fair. Welcome in, Raiders. Fair was uh, beaten up on Gortash earlier. Hey, Fair. How are you, my friend? Uh, can someone give Fair a shout out, please? Uh, welcome, Raiders. Uh, for those I may not know from Fair's community, my name's Cypher. And uh, I do a, lo a lot of things, but today's thing this evening is mini painting because I wanted something chill. All right, well, I can... Uh, I can message fair later. Hey, Sleazy, welcome in. Hey, Puddle. Oh, no, not a fair bear raid. Um, I had music going, but then I realized if music is going and I'm talking with zero, that's going to be a lot. And Zero, if you are talking, I do not hear you. Oh, I'm talking now. Can you hear this? Yes. I just didn't know if you had stopped talking. Okay, good. Because <laughs> also... Oh, no, I was, I was taking a drink. Uh, actually, you know what? I will just go get the port. I'm going to walk in the kitchen. You should still hear me. Um, okay. Because as you know, because you've been in my apartment, the headphones only go so far. <laughs> Yeah. Also, I need to close this window. It was nice earlier, but now it is getting that evening chill. Oof. Yeah, it's not bad, but in the middle of the night, I'll be laying there going, why am I cold? Oh. That's fine. Catherine, you know that's my secret. I always want port for me. Uh, it's called Taylor. I'm, I'm just going to bring the last of this bottle, but I had, re I had replaced the bottle with my latest grocery order. So it'll be a nice, lovely, mostly full ball of port when y'all visit. Nice. Hey, Brosephine. Hey, Brosephine. Uh, did you put adult conversation in the title? Oh, I but this is it. Taylor, New York port. It is 18% by volume. 
Good. We're having a paint and sip. Uh, Artificer is on voice. And I actually just put your name in the, uh, in the title too and tag yourself. But yeah, I, uh, I had to do a grocery shop cause I need to get better about cooking. Also, where can I put this where I'm not going to knock it over? There we go. Yeah, so we're just chilling and sipping and chatting. Ah, uh, the ruby. You know what? Don't Ooh, don't let me lie. Call. Let me double check. Um, how do I tell? What color is the little? It's a whitish blue label, and then this is the port. I believe this that... is. Yeah, that's their ruby. That's a ruby. Yeah, for ruby. Port is the only red I can really drink and not feel like trash the next day. Oh, well then I will I will leave this bottle unopened for your visit. The other bottle, I should say. All right, I need Is that a gray or a black for her armor? It's kind of in between. It's like a Yeah, it's pretty much dead on in between. Like a worn black leather. Then black pudding probably will work from the WizKids kit. Possibly. It's it's a grayish black. Oh yeah, that work. And it's a little thinner, so it might need two coats. How have you been, Sleazy? I've been seeing you around various uh, streams today. I've got a gray black, but it it veers more toward black than gray. Uh, yeah, I kind of need to get my hands on this model. This is really well done. It's so this isn't the same company. This isn't the same Etsy seller as the Astarian, but they do have a version of this. I really want the Gandorf, but mainly just to send it to Matt. Oh, I want that one so fucking much. Oh, and all of the jewelry to... is like all of the brass work is like a brass, yeah. Oh, hi, Panda. Um, yeah, pretty much, pretty much a brass. It's a really muted gold. Okay, hey, Panda. Because that old gold from the uh, speed paint kit probably will work then. Oh yeah, for sure. Because this is a great photo if I was looking at my monitor. <laughs> But I'm not. I'm looking at my phone. Oopsie. Yeah, and I did not think about making enough room for the iPad because it takes up a lot of space. And you know, if I was smart, what I would do huh. is find a way to clamp an arm onto this desk so I could put the iPad in it and when I'm going to do stuff like this and just kind of have it like Ooh. out of the way of the camera or even wall mounted so I could just look up at it. Wall mount. Definitely wall mount. Um design something. What? I could design something like that that you could 3D. I'd be worried about it being strong enough to hold the iPad though. Oh yeah, you would have to screw into your wall to secure it. Well, I just mean if it's made of filament, I don't know, like, is that going to be strong enough to... Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, PLA, if you print it at the proper level, um, is more than strong enough to hold something like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I've got a leveler and I've got a drill and stuff. It's just... That just literally occurred to me now that I could have clamped something to the desk and basically had the iPad right where I could right at eye level where I could look up at it. Yeah. Ooh, home D&D &D game. Nice, Sleazy. Okay, this is also a smaller brush than I should be using. So. Uh, I want to get my hands on that Ganondorf one because I'm at least ideas for building a full display for him with lights and everything else and it's like the Zelda nerd in me needs 
That would be awesome. Well, I thought about painting it and setting it to matte, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I am skilled enough to do something like that. I don't think you're selling yourself for it. I think you could do it. Yeah, but, you know, to send it to Matt, who voiced the character and who is a really good mini painter himself, I don't know. I also feel like if he did have something like the Ganondorf piece, he'd want him to paint it himself. Yeah, I was just thinking that. He'd always send it along and be like, hey, enjoying your downtime. Yeah, I texted him because it's expensive enough where I'd want to kind of make sure he'd want it first. Yeah, definitely. Or I may just send it to him and surprise him. I don't know. I have to look at it again. Um, I did ask him first before I sent him the kind of spicy um, Ganondorf art. Right. And I was like, do you want to know first? I'm like, it's it's a little spicy. It's more like, paint me like one of your French girls spicy. Do you want to see it first or do you trust my judgment? He's like, no, just send it. And he loved it. I'm painting the butt. Oh, yeah. It's it's still pricey. I just looked again. But you know what? These prints are worth it. Yeah, and the size they're printing it at, I mean, I can't off at it. It's just like, I don't know if I can drop that sort of change single figure right now. No, nah, and honestly, you're going to move, and it'd be, it would be really devastating to get something like that and have a break during your move. Oh, yeah, we already had that happen on the move out here. So... There's any other shots of her axe? I thought you were going to say of her ass. Well, I mean, you've got the ass covered. Literally. Hey. I'm actually. Um. So while I'm painting Carlac's ass. What's everyone been up to today? <gasps> hey, Mandy. Uh, no, I was talking. You were with me actually when I bought that Ganondorf print, I think, or I saw it. Uh, and if you said yes to joining on voice, I totally missed it. But you are welcome to do so. Uh, Mandy. Next up, we're painting withers in a camisole. Dost thou wish to live delicious? Absolutely, the entire fuck not. <laughs> I will kick you out of this fucking call. Uh. No, um, it's just Carlac, but I was painting her ass right when you popped in the chat. I'm pretty sure that's already a fanfic, Mandy. Wow, Mandy, wow. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I thought people I thought Damien was gonna choke when I said that on the panel. I mean, Withers needs more than lotion. He needs some business to mind. Because, good God, he's nosy. Oop, I forgot part of Carlac's titty. Which is amazing, given that he has no nose. I mean, when you're a lich, I guess. And entertain uh, yourself somehow. Uh, I will check Discord in a minute. That is the downside to doing these streams, is that my phone is basically me checking... My phone is watching chat and doing everything else. Uh, <laughs> See, it's siempre chismoso. <laughs> Todo tiempo en el chisme. Are, are you okay there? 
Yeah, I just wasn't <laughs> expecting to look up and read that. Oh, okay. I thought you did that because I said it out loud in well, Espanol. That, that certainly helped, yes. I should text Eugenio that and be like, hey, Eugenio, we decided this on stream today. <laughs> Do it. Do it. Oh, no. He's like, Again. don't let your bosom companion companion distract you from what needs to be done. I was like, my bosom companion is the only reason I haven't made beef jerky out of you. Pretty sure, Mandy, that's why Withers has a uh, slip and slide as a cantrip. Stop. Hey, hey Furwick. Furwick. You're just in time. I, wow. I'm going to Twitch hell, most assuredly. <laughs> Because he needs lotion. Not with not sun dried tomato. <laughs> that was all for Rick heard. <laughs> all right, let me let me check the Discord. Okay, uh, Pirate's doing a thing, and he answered a few minutes ago. Um, okay. da, 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 da. Uh, Mandy, if you are available, I will start a new call. Let me know in chat. <laughs> we can just roast Withers. Wow. Withers ain't even did nothing. He's just collateral damage tonight, catching strays. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's Baldur's Gate 3 stream. Our discussion, it puts the lotion in the basket. Dissertation on Withers. Uh, so, Cat Moths, this actually says paint water, so I know it's paint water. Uh, also, I'm going to, speaking of which, I'm going to get some fresh paint water. Uh, you may get some water pouring ASMR. Or you may lose me, because as we know, this is not like the water. Also, I did actually mean to text you, Henny, and go, we've decided on stream that Weathers is siempre en chisme. <laughs> oh, God. One day, I'm, I need to clean my office. I almost tripped on a box. Uh, I should be fine now. I, I mentioned that I might have issues because... Yeah, you're good. Yeah, when I went in the bathroom and ran water, I knew that was going to happen. Um, I should look at chat because I didn't see if Mandy was good or not. Uh, believe not. Okay, then I will worry about it when she's available. Uh, Mandy is fooding. Oh, I saw she was cooking. I didn't know when, if she was still fooding. Gotcha. The downside of streaming is there's always a delay. Yeah. But yes, now that there's clear water in here, you can see where it says paint water. And I have another one that says not paint water. You had a munchie at 5.30. Oh, no. That was me, Mandy. I didn't make lunch until... Well, lunch wasn't ready until 3 because I actually cooked something. And that was my own fault. Um, and so I w I'm still not hungry. So I'm sure like when we get into a couple hours stream, I'm like, oh, shit, I should eat something. But I've been feeding myself, as you say. All right, back to uh, the many straps of Carlex armor. 
I feel like she's supposed to be a like they thought they were designing a Final Fantasy character. A little bit. Little bit. And that is me just also being kind of a doofus. I do love Carlac's design though. And I'm going to go back over the rings. I'm not going to try to not touch the rings. That just ain't going to happen. Yeah. Withers is here to be a nosy old bitty. And take our money. Right. Like it's what a hundred or something ridiculous for every resurrection. Something like that, yeah. And that's actually a lot of money in D and D currency or like, how long it takes you to earn a hundred gold as an explorer? Unless you're like me and rob the bank and don't give them their money back. <laughs> I just started not giving the money back. Yeah. I'm like, this is my tax for all the shit you all have pulled on me. I think that's fair. Like all the restless nights, the fucking dream visitor. Uh, Tadpole text. I'm talking more about like when you go to take a long rest, the dream visitor wants to talk to you. There's a cutscene. And if you're playing an origin character, something about your story comes up. I'm just like, <coughs> can I get one night of rest? This is why I'm grumpy. This is why I'm going to kill everyone. This is truly uh, why I turn at the end of the game, because you motherfuckers didn't let me get a single night of good sleep. There was one time in Act 2, there was a few things I had evidently <laughs> done out of order or something, and I go go to sleep because I'm like, yay, I finally get to romance Carlac. And I swear there were eight things that happened in a row. What? Get to Carlac. Yeah. So it's all of a sudden, um, uh, it was the thing with Will going down, and then uh, it was the thing with Lazelle going down, and then just on and on and on and on. And Catherine and I are sitting there going, if this fucks up us getting to Carlac, buy it. I'm starting the game over. No. I'd be like, well, it was nice playing this game. Yep, pretty much. And then, of course, the owlbear shows up again. I'm like, uh, just join the camp already. You're like, you, like, everybody's cock blocking you. Uh huh. I think that happened to Tom on Neil's stream. Oh? So, Tom's character, his friend Tom, is a. Tiefling paladin that is trying to romance Carlac, uh. and Neil's character is romancing Astarian. And I feel like there was one week, one stream, where poor Tom thought this was the moment, like Carlac's got her second upgrade, we gonna do the do, and then it didn't happen. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm just like. I want to laugh, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> it's not like he can hear me, but I felt so bad. I could all laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and you could just hear him. You could hear it in his voice. Oh, boy. Although yeah, I got those blue balls yeah. are adamantine. Yep. 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 Oh, it so Neil and Tom are still in the they're still in act two. I don't think they've even gotten to Moonrise Towers yet. And I'm just like, they're gonna be playing this game when they're sixty. Oh yeah. But let's be honest, a lot of us are just through replays. True, but they I don't think they've gotten through a whole game. Oh, at all? I think that neither of them is playing if the other if they're not playing it on stream. Oh, okay. I think I could be wrong, or maybe just this this game is what like the one they're playing on Neil's stream may be the one they're not touching. Right. And you know, I don't know how much. 
like it's clear there are things that Neil's like, oh shit, I remember doing this thing. Yeah. It was so fun, Theo. Uh, for those that don't know, the voice actor, well, the actor for Will, Theo Solomon, also streams. Oh and, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and Theo's hilarious. He's now settled on Wednesdays at. 7 GMT, which is 1 o'clock for me, for us. Yeah. Um, and this man has gone to jail in the Druid camp. I didn't even know you could go to jail in the Druid camp. Wow. What did he do? Um, I think he pissed off some people. Because every time his his monk talks to, to Damon now, he basically gets the frowny face in the barter window. Oof. But him and Shadow, his character in Shadowheart, for two streams in a row, started in jail. <laughs> and, you know, like, I'm sitting here, I'm watching, and I'm like, bro, how did you go to jail in the Druid camp? I'm I'm just impressed. And I'm just like I I got nothing. And oh. there was one stream where he did all of that and then died. <laughs> I made a clip of it. Um He did the thing where he decided to steal the idol of of Sylvanas. Oh. Didn't go it, well, I take it. Oh no. <laughs> It did not go well at all because I saw a cutscene I've never seen in 700 hours. The druids are not happy when you do this. <laughs> hey, Rowan. Rowan, I think you were there when Theo decided to steal the idol of Sylvanas. And I just looked up like, I'm not, what is happening? Because I was like, did he find some new mission? And it's called Yes, <laughs> Get My Ass Beat. <laughs> That's what yeah. it was. Because I'm just sitting there like fascinated because I've never tried to steal the idol of Sylvanas. So I'm like, it's in the middle of the of like where Kaga and these other druids are. And yeah. you know, the, the Kaga, Kaga doesn't already like you. And the the black dude, I forget his name. The one that's all, we have to get Monster Holson back. He yeah. tolerates you to get Master Halson back, but everyone flips their shit if you decide to steal that. I don't like, how do you even steal it? It's literally like right there. That's like stealing the turkey at Thanksgiving. <laughs> With everyone just going, you know, we can see you. And it was just. Ooh. How did we get? It's just you ever just watch a stream and you're like, I looked away for ten seconds. <laughs> How to piss off everyone? Speedrun edition. <laughs> right, and he's just like, bruv, what I do? And we're like, Theo, you literally stole from these people. What do you mean? What did you do? <laughs> but it was great and then like slightly serious um he did get to the part where you have to break in the burning building and get floric back yeah and so he was like oh shit the part with will's dad it's like oh you're i adore you yes. i'm very excited that he's going to be at twitchcon and also uh that he's going to be a dragon con. I hope he has fun. Yeah. Wait, is that part of her boob or part of. Oh, no, that's actually her armor. I'm like, is this armor or is this a titty? Uh, the question. Look, well detailed as this, as this model is. It was just flat enough there that I had to double check. <laughs> like Is this tattered cloth or straight up tit? The age old question. How are you, Rowan? I just 
to live for. I'm not going to go to jail. We're not going to have a fight. Ten seconds later. Hey, Van. Welcome on in. Hey, Van. And then suddenly he's in a fight for his life. And I'm like, what happened? Are we not going to fight? Oh, uh, that went out the window. Or the combat starts and he's like, what the fuck is happening? We're like, you just told those people fuck off. What did you think was going to (laughs) happen? Don't they know who I am? Oh, speaking of Will, though. You know how you sometimes have insomnia or just can't sleep? And you peruse the internet? That was a bad idea. It's a bad idea in general. Discourse about Will and Mizora. What? So what I saw was something about how Will was only 17 and he basically was a dumb kid that made a decision and how how you shouldn't rescue his father because his father kicked him out. And I'm just like, you motherfuckers, all of you. Well, and I'm like, and then I, that's why I just tweeted. Some of y'all care more about fictional characters than real yes. people. I'm going back to sleep. Because I was just in, you know how you just read something? You're like, I didn't read that. You realize, yes. These days, constantly. Look. And I, I was say, just... there's, a, there's a reason I've started limiting my time on social media. Same. And it's and it's like the, the I can't sleep scroll. Surely I'll fall asleep any minute now. And then you just see something where you're like, you know what? It's two in the morning. I'm going to get up and have a drink because I just read that with my two eyes. Huh? I don't have a drink at that point go to sleep with that on my brain that's when i just start when you see me just repeating like retweeting a bunch of fan art it's usually a palate cleanser ah gotcha i've seen something so fucked up i need something to get this out of my brain fandom's a mistake and also just some people are a mistake in general and i've decided now when people talk sideways to me i'm just gonna go Okay, that may be true, but your mother didn't swallow, so here we are. <laughs> Thank you. Your opinion has been noted. Oh, condom that bro. Damn. I mean, there's some people where you're just like, and this is what happens when you don't use protection. I think I did have to say this at one con before where I was tired, I had no filter, and uh, I remember it was someone cracking on um, dub anime, that whole sub versus dub thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I couldn't help myself. I just looked them in the eyes and said, wow, you're the sperm that won, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry if that was loud in your ear, but that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't have a filter and it's like, oh, Catherine looking on my shirt. Let's go. Come on. Let's go get you a snack. <laughs> like, do you need a Snickers? Are you okay? Yeah, exactly. I just stopped doing I've just stopped caring at that point. <laughs> Cause if I'm at the point where I'm saying somebody should have swallowed, you probably should stop talking to me. Yeah. One hundred percent. Because there are some people in some Twitch chats where I'm like, hmm, well, natural selection failed on that day. Mm-hmm. And I know that may sound harsh to some people, but go be in some Twitch chats. Ooh. Yep. My favorite is always when people start talking shit about game developers and I'm sitting right there. Uh-huh. And I just wait for it.
And I'm like, wow, you really said that with your whole chest. Haven't even programmed in Ruby on Rails, but you got a lot to say about game development. I mean, hasn't even programmed a TI-87. Yep. I'm just like, here, I'm going to drop kick you into some Unity. Go enjoy. <laughs> and when you can go make a whole ass game, come back and talk to me. I said, I have very little patience for that shit. Or when people talk about, oh, dev should have done this, dev should have done that. I'm like, you got money for this fully voiced game that you wanted, that you thought it should be? So I don't think people realize fully voicing a game is very expensive. I mean, Zero, you know, because you did voice work. Oh, yeah. Fucking video games, you're fucking sag rate. That is a whole other echelon. Yeah, and at least for our project, you have to be SAG. Or yeah. make a special, special exception. And the exception that gets you on the project means you they get you SAG status. Yeah. That's why I never... Um opted out even though i had a few voice actor friends hey come out to the west coast we'll get you we video games we'll get you in some and i'm like i no i i don't want to deal with it i've had my brush with sag i'm good yeah i i guess but also i mean people are still fighting the whole you know, all the AI stuff that SAG did not really do anything good with in the uh, contract. From what I from what I understand. Oh, no, they did not. They they dropped the ball hardcore on that. <laughs> oh, they never do, Van. They never do. Like the people that always want to talk shit, because I because for those that don't know, DJ Knight used to teach um game design. He worked on quite a few titles. So he knows what he's talking about when it comes to this stuff. There's always some mouthy little motherfucker in his chat. Uh. And bless DJ. I'm glad he's a patient man. Because I would have cussed somebody smooth out by now. When it comes to that kind of stuff, I definitely zero patience. Any, And I will... <laughs> If I have my filter in place, I'll just have to opt out of the conversation. Otherwise, it's nuke it from orbit. Yeah. Um, like the people who were constantly talking on any sort of voice work whatsoever, be it ADR or not, and they have never fucking stepped in a booth. They've never even been on a stage and worked with a director and have zero fucking idea what they're talking about. They never do, though. That's the thing, is that they're so sure they're right. Okay, that's... Okay. Just doing a quick check on, on ye old Discord. Yeah. Um, well, and then people are just, I don't know. I, I, even before I got this job, which I can't believe it may first will be a year. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it doesn't, a year has gone by very quickly. Yeah, it has. Oh, that's much better. That other brush was a little too wide. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, is that, you know, I've been in DJ stream where a lot of people just want to talk shit about, about game dev and stuff. And it's like, oh, you think that's easy? Cool. And I'm usually just sitting there like, I can't say a word because I probably will get in trouble if I do. Actually, Zero, can you do me a small favor? What's up? Can you find an image of Carlac from the back in her default outfit? 
One sec. Because this is from this image I've got up is from the wiki, but it's her facing forward. So the the oh, got it. The the um the Baldur's Gate three wiki has uh, like really good shots of the characters in their default starting outfits, but only from the front. Because I'm also trying to tell if this kind of fringe is all the same leather color or not. There you go. You'll have to pull it up, but there you are. Thank you. I will I will swap over to it shortly because I want to make sure I got the... I didn't basically paint over what should be skin on the back. Right. Because this this figure also is seated. So some parts are hard to tell where the armor ends and the or there's a crease and it's still the armor versus where her skin shows through. Yeah. So I will turn around in a moment and uh So I feel like where I'm painting now is still all armor. There's just like this little fringy bit. <laughs> We should summon Kelly because remember Kelly has to do um Kelly has to do a mini painting stream because she hit her goal for the MS Society. That's right. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to it, but we know that Kelly will also fight tooth and nail. Oh yeah. Hey Melissa. Hey Melissa. And Carlac's hair is is black with hints of flame, correct? Yeah, Blackwood's hints of a, like a blood red. Ooh, that's going to be interesting to do. I might have to do a dry wash, but with red. Yeah, give that a go. That should work. So I'm like, how am I supposed to get the incandescent red? <laughs> I will... It's like all these fucking straps, though. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Kelly has actually picked out what uh, she's going to pick. Probably not. She's like, oh, Kelly, you're being summoned to stream. I should bug her about her rate sheet. Yes. Uh, Mandy, if you are still feeding yourself, bug. We A note to all of us, bug Kelly for her rate sheet. Um... Yeah. What did you last hear, Van? <sighs> it's like every time we were in the group chat, Kelly, did you do your rate sheet? Kelly, did you do your rate sheet? <laughs> This has been going on for how long now? Over a year. Yep. All right. Carlac, you dry while I go grab this reference shot. All right. Um. All right. Oh, Astarian's underneath in case I move to Astarian. Oh, shit, I've also been on... I've been on nearly two hours. Yep. I'm flying when you're painting. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Well, there's a lot more of her back showing than I realized. I'm going to have to let parts of this dry and definitely do some painting over. <laughs> All right. 
What is she going to be sitting on? Um, do you see that that gray and black thing? Yeah. Um, she is going to sit on that, and I will show you in a second. Okay. I'm just adding in the the back Carlac ref. Um, let's see. Okay. That gives new meaning to step on me. <laughs> Excuse me. I should probably have some kind of water. bad idea okay let's make sure I've got that got my rough yeah hydration is good I've actually got well I've got a coke zero next to me but I should have something that's not the wine yeah yeah a lot more of her back is out than I realized Although the model I have, she is wearing gloves and armor. So this this oh, actually so you got room to play around. Yeah, so this actually differs a little bit, I think, than the model I'm painting. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, even when they rip models from for this sort of stuff, the translation's not one to one. So they have to go in and sort of fudge things a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's it's close. I need, I'm gonna have to go in with the red with the tiny brush and get the spots uh, I missed. Although I did not mess up as bad as I thought. There's some there's some okay. red I missed because I was thinking I there were parts of flesh that I painted black, thinking it was fully a strap. But there are little uh, corners of the flesh of like between the straps that I I did paint red, but I missed it in like the little corner. Gotcha. This is why I can't do this like all the time. It's so fiddly. Yeah. <laughs> and uh my my old eyes lately. I like detail work, you wish. And that's why I have my uh magnifiers whenever I mini paint. I bought magnifiers and um they got misplaced when I moved in here. I could not tell you where they are. Oh, shit. Well, part of the plan for the weekend is, depending on when I get up tomorrow, because I'm going to not set an alarm. I'm going to get up when I get up. Nice. Um, is depending on when I get up and how I'm how much energy I've got. The goal is to work on the office. And then, depending on how Sunday goes, um, box up all these extra D and D books. Yep. Because once I actually get rid of all the D and extra D and D books, I might have room on my shelf for books I want. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, I told the story. Um, I've got some box, I've got some books on a shelf in the dining room where, bless my friends that helped me pack. But they missed the part where I said, hey, throw those, put those books in the recycling or throw them out. Because some of them uh, are really old textbooks. No one can use them. Ooh. Like my old stats book. And I've been out of college now. 13 years, 14 years. I went when I was much older, y'all. Um, so some of those books are beyond out of date. Like 
There's not even a here's some stats book that you could use. This is truly out of date. So. (coughs) Well, they also pulled a a, we changed two pages, so therefore it's a new edition. It costs twice as much. Yep. And we'll and we'll give you a bubble gum wrapper and five cents for this book that costs you two hundred (laughs) dollars. Yep. I say this as someone who worked in higher ed for 16 years. College textbooks are a scam. Oh, for sure. They're an absolute fucking scam. Because once you're done with that class, unless you're in a field like psychology or something, I don't see where you're ever going to look at that book again and use it. Like, I couldn't tell you the last time I looked at any of my books, even my coding books. So I've got books, like, on SQL and Ruby on Rails. I haven't touched those books since I graduated. And I don't know how much coding has changed. Yeah. I still had a book on Flash Action Script. Oh, God. That's older than both of us. Jesus. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, Flash. We miss you. Oh, I don't think Flash has been standard for, what, 10 years now? Yeah, about like that. (laughs) Yeah, like I... That's what I used to do back in the day. Ah. Also, why I no longer code. Quickly discovered that A, I'm decent at it, and B, I hate doing it. I hated coding, and this was why because it'd be one fucking comma somewhere. One. Yep, yep not me. I'm going to owe money till I die. Yep. Every time I look at my student loans and when they're gonna when they when I know they're gonna kick in, I just cry. Because part of me is like, yep. Thanks for the degree I'm not even using. Sorry, right, Cider insisted I pick her up. <gasps> Hi, Cider. She is now furiously grooming my. Aww. Cider is the cat, by the way, not. <laughs> well, because that happened with Furwick once. Wait, what? I don't know if Furwick's still here or go- has gone about his day. But there was a point at which someone heard Gotcha Day and thought we were talking about Furwick's wife. <laughs> Oh, no, they. Th- I'm sorry. He mentioned Shio, and someone thought that they w- that Ferk was talking to his wife, and Shio is the cat. Oh no! Oh, you are still here. Do you remember what what exactly brought that on? I forget why. Like why Shio and Gachide got mixed up. <laughs> Because it was one of those things of, like, I, I know what I just heard. However. Hey, Catherine, we're renaming our anniversary. Huh? Yeah, Catherine, we're calling it Gotcha Day now. Oh, my God. No, Gotcha Day is Ferwick's wife. The cat is Shio. I think Zero just turned into the ether. No, I'm still here. I was putting Cider back on the ground. Aw, bye, Cider. Yeah, I forget I thinking, how like, that second. happened. Uh, 
Uh, no T, but that is actually very close. Oh, Ferwick, I don't know how often you go home, and this is fairly early, but I will be in North Carolina at some point in 2025. I've been asked to speak at a conference next year. I've already gotten the invitation. I'm like, sure. You're going to have to remind me because that's next year. I'm getting there, y'all. This is a lot. You've made real good progress. Yeah, it's just her armor is so fucking fiddly. Yep. And part of me is like, do I even coat this in black and then go over it? Because it's going to be a lot of tiny work in that brassy gold. Yeah. But I'm... But there's enough black underneath where I'm like, I might as well just do it in black and then and then do fine detail. And honestly, that's how I do it. Well, because if I try to do fine detail and then never touch it again, I'm going to fuck it up. Okay. It's just this is a lot. This is, It's a lot of uh, tiefling titty. A lot of tiefling. Aw, Captain. Well, the good thing is this is also more of a gray-black when it dries, so I can see the parts I need to do with the gold easily. I mean, I would not object to some tiefling titty. Ooh. From Nabisco, Tiefling Titty, come for the squish, stay for the spice. You should absolutely make a fake commercial with that. <laughs> I'm seriously considering once I get back, um, once I've done the bulk of this Kickstarter stuff, I can start increasing my stream schedule again. I was going to start making fake commercials to put in at break. Oh, you mean like how Pirate has for AIW? Exactly. Oh, that would be hilarious. Thank you. So I got this because it uh, it does have better quality than the other Brio. Oh, you're welcome. But it still can't zoom in and out. That's my biggest gripe right now. Your newest one, yeah? Yep, that is the MX Brio. And again, because we didn't know... I didn't know when or if we'd get it added as a thing we could request as Logitech partners. I just bought one. Yeah. I've got a leg up. <laughs> you did that one yourself. Oh yeah, that that was uh, to summon pirate. I have no idea if he'll be around, uh, but I just figured he'd feel a disturbance in the force and show up. Uh, eventually, I'm going to be. I have the um, Logitech cam right now that used to be face cam. It's now my craft cam, but unfortunately, it only has like a quarter zoom. And not oh. you try to get any further than that, and it loses. Eventually, I'm going to be picking up the Brio for my craft kit. So this can zoom, but I need to set it in G Hub, uh -huh. and, and it's a 1.5 or a 2.5 zoom. I don't need to be that fucking close. I might change it to a 1.5 zoom just for people seeing what I'm doing. But that's still really zoomed in. I did. Normally I don't pun at all. It's a special occasion. I, I think my coworkers are wearing me down. <laughs> are they bad with puns? Oh my god. We literally talk about a pun jar once a meeting. But. 
Thanks, Rowan. Have a good one. Have a good lunch. Um, if I thought about it, I probably would have based Carlac in black, but I figure since she's going to be mostly red, I want to use the sand primer. Yeah. Better way to go about it, honestly. That and with the black you're using, you'll quickly see any areas you go back over. True. These days, my painting process is completely different. The advice in that area goes out the window. Yeah. Well, yeah, I normally just go ahead and prime everything black. And then the first thing I do is uh, between one and the colors that are basically going to be my shadow color, my undercolor. Uh -huh. Paint the entire thing in that. And then paint on top of that, but leave the deepest shadows that whatever color I picked. And that gives more interesting shadows and just mm. something like straight black or a darker color. Okay. Huh. Oh, I missed a part to paint red. And the mini I'm going to be working on tomorrow and finally getting to try out my new paints is definitely going to be that style. Oh, yeah, you didn't do, because you didn't do uh, anything but Artificer Chat today, right? Yeah. And next week, we're going to be working on, I 3D printed a vault tech sign. I'm going to be showing people how to do basically a, a larger piece of prop paint instead of mini painting. Um, and then coming up on fairly soon, I'm going to be, I'm I'm kind of in this weird area where I only have so many minis, and I also like to paint off screen, so I have to choose what to paint on stream, what not to paint on stream. And I feel that. I feel that in my soul. I also need to just make up my mind about what content I want to do. Yeah. Hear that. Well, here, for me, it's the... So streaming has always been a hobby. It's never been a, this is how I make all my money. Yeah. Um, so there's also just the very real fact of, you know, it's nice to have nice numbers, but also some days I just want to do what the fuck I want to do. Yeah, exactly. And I don't always have the patience to deal with, well, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you fuck off and pay all my bills? That's what. <laughs> right. I'm totally on board with that. Um, Do the shit that makes you happy and it'll always be a good stream. Yeah. And that's where I think people... We've talked about this and I may resubmit this for TwitchCon. Uh-huh. But just kind of update it like I did for PAX. Of, you know, streaming as a hobby or career. Because, you know, when Mandy Pirate, um, and God, who else was on that panel? We did a TwitchCon a couple of years ago. There were people that clearly did not understand the difference that were asking some questions. Uh huh. And the VOD is up both on Twitch's YouTube and also mine. Um, oh, I need to go watch that. And it's just really clear the people that that still were very much, well, I'm going to be a partner and therefore I'll be rich. And it's like, that's not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I love that shit. Oh, my favorite, because Mandy always tells this story, is um, the guy who gets up and he's like one of the first questions we get to. Uh, basically, he uh. wanted a shortcut. <laughs> to uh to success and we all are like there's no shortcut buddy yeah or be born rich i guess but it was just like such a 
Well, people like tell me that my art's good and stuff like that, and I stream, but I don't get the numbers. And you know, I should have asked is how long have you been streaming? Follow up question I like to ask if it wasn't your stream, would you enjoy watching it? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, that's um, any any time I actually give that advice on the things I make, the th- all, all that stuff, why I have the thing I do, say, in my Threadless shop, why I do the way I do, is first and foremost, I was honest with you. If it wasn't me, as I genuinely like watching, but would this be a stream I would enjoy? If yes, then I proceed. If no, then I don't do it. Same thing with the stuff I have in the Threadless shop. Is this something I would wear? If no, I don't do it. And that's been kind of my guiding star for any and all the creative stuff that I do, all the way to the stuff I write for Dungeons and Dragons. Is it a game I would enjoy playing? If yes, then I write it. If no, then there's no point. Yeah, and I think a lot of people, what I think a lot of people do, and this is, you know, on the one hand, people got to eat. I get it. Trust me. Yeah. But on the other, some people take any and all deals because it pays. And part of me is just like, your audience is going to know if you're not really into this. Your your audience and the people, especially if there are people who've been there since the beginning. Some people stream for years and never build up the audience that they want or they think they should have. And, you know, I've asked people, you know, not just the, would you watch this stream if this wasn't your stream, but do you go back and critique? Do you go back and look and see, no. well, what did I do where on these streams where I got good numbers, what was different? You know, and throw out things like getting front page or special events, stuff like that. I'm talking about, let's say you get good numbers for a while. What changed? Did you stream first thing in the morning when you had way more energy? Were you doing stuff you truly enjoy versus everyone's playing a brand new game? I need to play it or I'm going to get left behind and no one's going to watch my stream. Because a lot of people fall in that trap of, well, you know, let's take Helldivers, for instance. Well, everyone's playing Helldivers. If I don't stream Helldivers, nobody's going to come watch. And it's like, but do you even like a game like Helldivers? Is that your jam? Or are you seeing people that always have big numbers and big being relative? Are you seeing their numbers and thinking... Well, if I too stream the Hell Diver, I too will get this cut of an audience, <laughs> which ain't even remotely true. Oh. Like some of my favorite um, crafters and makers on the YouTube, I go and check out their stuff. Mm-hmm. It's never, ever, because they're doing the most recent popular thing, say in like Warhammer. Right? Mm-hmm. It's because they're doing something they enjoy, and I'm watching them put their best work and having a lot of fun with it, which makes me have fun as a viewer. That's why it's like for a little while there, it's like yeah, I dallied with doing primarily video game. I love playing video game. It's in a part of my DNA from a young age, and. Yeah, sure, that can bring in the views, that can bring in the numbers and everything else, but at the end of the day, I wasn't happy. I wasn't enjoying it. I enjoy making shit and people how to do it too. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Hi, Boba. Uh, this is, hey, Boba. It says paint water for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's that so... twice now? <laughs> yep. That is just water that uh, has gotten my brushes clean. Uh, actually, our friend Nix makes these glasses and yep. other assorted barware. So if you, too, do the painting and want to have a set of glasses where one says paint water and one doesn't, 
You can have one. This uh, is yeah. At his first convention selling this weekend. Really? What convention? Uh, I cannot remember off the top of my head, but uh, when when I mentioned that we were looking after our friend's pets, yeah, it's uh, because his partner's with him and we're looking after her pets. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't think I've ever met Nix's partner. I don't believe so, no. Um... But yeah, so Nyx does them in wine glasses and I think scotch glasses. Um, and they have, everything has always arrived safely. Uh, Jeremy from BMC never did Warhammer and still he's one of the top crafter uh, YouTubers. Is it bad that I have no idea who you're talking about? Oh, no. Uh, it's a channel called Black Magic, and he's what he's one of the big ones that really kicked off the idea of using certain types of foam for a teacher. And the dude literally is one of those. I had a weird idea, and I'm going to make this today, and I hope you like it. Sort of content is near and dear to my heart. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Fernando said he's at the D8 Charity Summit. That's the one. Okay, thank you, Fernando. I just could not hear it off the top of my head. Yeah, I've been trying to intentionally not be too much on social media because social media is too much lately. It really is. I'm just like, some of you motherfuckers need to go outside and roll in grass. Not touch it. I'm past touching grass. Please go find some, <laughs> please go find a lawn and roll in it immediately. Keep, keep rolling. That's right. Downhill. Reach the bottom of the ditch. And please stay there. Thank you. Are you, t are you terminally online though, Boba? Also, I do love your username. Face plant and grass. There you go. I should change my username to spite fueled if nobody has it already. <laughs> and be like, you change Hilarious. your name. Be like, yep. Oh god, I'm branded everywhere, Cypher so Tier. That would be such a pain in the ass to change. I will redo your overlays and graphics for free. Let's go. Oh my god. Uh I actually the fuck was that? Sorry. So I live in a two bedroom and I, when I hear noises, I never know if like the room I'm in is like my neighbor's room that they sleep in, work in. So whenever I hear them, I'm like, my brain just has a, is this the work room? Is this the other bedroom? Oh, it is. I've given a talk on Spider's Motivation. I think it's on my YouTube, actually. I found the deck for it the other day when I was looking for something else. Spite is a great motivator. It's how I got where I am today, actually. Uh, literally spite about the state of the games industry is how I got where I am today. Because I tweeted, I need diverse games. Oh. What? I only caught part of that zero. Oh, I said, yep. Cypher taught me to That's be okay it. with being motivated by spite. Absolutely. Oh, I forgot to show you zero. So Carlac oh. will um, sit here. Okay. Um, oh, leggies, okay. leggies will go there. Her tail goes in the back. Uh, arms here That's and then cool. I think these axes are literally the same so it doesn't matter which goes on which and then one axe yeah. will go over her shoulder That's badass I like that Yes yeah, so her leggies need to dry which sounds so weird Uh Melissa actually since you have a VIP badge can you share the Kickstarter or the fundraiser you were telling me about where the shirts Basically, are saying motivated by spite. 
I don't need. I'm trying to get rid of clothes, but I'm tempted. Yeah, all I've done so far is black and the black and red, and I'm gonna try to do a bit of touch up on the areas I clearly missed something. Uh huh. And then work on the axes as a little palette cleanser. Now, the reason I'm doing this, if anyone was like, why are you putting water in these paints? These Arteza acrylics are very thick. <clears throat> they are oh, very... Those are Arteza? Those, those are, are super thick. They thick, as the kids say. Oh, yeah. Those are super heavy, buddy. Yeah, that's why I still have um, all of these tubes almost two years later. Uh, Boba, if you're trying to post a link, you won't be able to. And um, for whatever reason on mobile, it it um for whatever reason on mobile, it is far more um censorous. Oh, uh, Boba just wrote the word thick with two C, with three C. So on my phone, it's censored for some reason. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know if the, I, well, I just didn't know what you were trying to post because my phone just censored it, the whole thing. Alyssa, I need that shirt. Can you throw that in the Discord, please? Yeah, my phone, iOS, iOS is really, um, what's the word? iOS is very persnickety about things, I guess is the best way to put it. iOS is a prude. Basically. Yeah, so here's where I now take this tiny brush. Get all the little bits of red skin that I missed earlier. Oh, ads. Boo. Oh, I missed I missed a strap. Oh, dang nabbit. Um I may turn ads off because I think they're running too frequently. Yeah, they've been popping up a lot in the mod view. Yeah, the thing is, if I turn them off now, it won't be effective for this stream. No. Which, thanks, Twitch. Well, now I need to know what full mirror runs. Duncan. <laughs> Fuck, I miss Dunkin' Donuts. There's no Dunkin' by you? All right, bye, Mavican. Have a I good can't one. Have it. Oh. Yeah, they don't do gluten free anything. Oh, so you mean the pastries, not the coffee? Yeah, um, no, I'm a coffee snob. Dunkin' doesn't do it. Wow. Y'all heard it first. Listen, I said Zero's what I said. A, Zero's a coffee snob. Yes, and self-admitted, proud of it too. One of the oh, I'm not shaming you. I just think about. it's hilarious. <laughs> I get donuts for those of us who cannot. Yeah, because I can't have donuts right now. As does PJ. Hey, DC. Hey, DC. Yeah, this is where all the little fiddly bits get on my nerves. I'm like, why did I just yeah. decide to paint this little, this fucking mini right now? Why not? No, it's just when I get into the fiddly bits, I hate life. I got it. Also, I do not have the steadiest hand. 
I'm not good at detail stuff. Hey, Blackjack. All right, enjoy your D&D. I hope you roll many crits. Hey, Blackjack. Hey, thank you for your reset, Blackjack. How are you? Oh, that's cruel, Van. Oh, no. It's so cruel. That's like an extra fuck you. Yep. I have a Tim Hortons gift card my Canadian coworker gave me. Oh, nice. I have had their coffee. It's pretty decent. No, I like it. I've got a Tim Hortons mug that I bought the last time I was in Canada. Oh, nice. Yeah, I one thing I need to do is also purge all the mugs and shit that I have. Because oh. I live by myself. I don't need this many mugs like ever. <laughs> uh, Catherine and I are kind of in the same boat and eyeing which ones we're going to excise before we start packing them up. Well, and, you know, it is. I don't know if you feel this way, but, like, some things are sentimental. Some... If I oh, get yeah. rid of this mug, I cannot replace it. Yeah. Um. You definitely have a few mugs that will never go. So it's too much sentiment behind them. But other ones, eh. That's about it. Well, here's the thing. In theory, I have enough mugs to use a clean mug every day probably for a month. Oh, damn. Well, you've seen the rack I have in the kitchen. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, one of the cabinets is basically full of mugs. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Oh, hi, Mandy. No, not Withers fanfic. <laughs> I beg no. All right. He is risen, a Withers fan. You motherfucker. <laughs> Mandy, save us. Oh, magic cards have been organized or just other cards? Oof. Um, also, Mandy, let me know how to drag you into the ridiculousness. Well, the latest magic announcement has me screwed. Has you what? Uh, they're doing Cowboy Bebop. What? Yeah, they they have a partnership with Cowboy Bebop for Magic the Gathering. Insert GIF right. of what's his face here. Right. Shut up and give me and uh, take my money. Yeah, only in Japan uh -huh. and very limited. I will find a fucking way. Oh, I'm going to ask. Hey, Furwick. Yeah. <laughs> Furwick. Furwick, buddy. Hey, buddy. Furwick's like, suddenly I must be elsewhere. Uh huh. Well, even Mandy's like Furwick. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, gunmetal. Um, for someone who has a better memory than me, is Carlex Axe silver or a more gold bronze ish? Looking right now. Because I have brass and I have silver. And I have gunmetal, but I think that's more of a blue black. Um, hers is, as far as the blade is concerned, it's yeah. much more like no color. What color? Like a steel color. Oh. So gunmetal would be fine, and you can add uh, brighter highlights on. So, gunmetal, at least this one, where'd it go? That's, nope, that's black pudding still. Um, this. Perwick, is... we need you to be our inside man. <laughs> He's like, what? What did I do? Oh, no, that is the uh, proper. For it was like, I was minding my business. What did you hear, Mandy? Mandy's like, oh, Axe. What, what did you hear? <laughs> if 
Crow was like, I stood up for five seconds. Oh, really? Oh, no. Well. You about to become a dealer. You're going to take Mandy's job. Uh, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is hop into the... The stream chat should be restricted. Okay. Uh, instead of starting a new call anyway. So, uh, Mandy, if you are still up for joining on voice... I'm going to go to the stream room. Both of you should be able to join in because you're mods. Yeah. All right. I will see you. I I will hop out and hop right back. Okie dokie. Okay. Hey, I'm in the stream room. Yellow. Oh, hi. Yeah, this one has also limited people that can join it. So. Yeah. So Furwick, Magic the Gathering is doing a limited collaboration with Cowboy Bebop. It's only going to be available in the Japanese market. We need you to be our drug mule. <laughs> Furwick's like, what? <laughs> like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> yeah, you're being recruited. Sorry, not sorry, friend. Oh my god, it's 9.30. I've been on here two and a half hours. Uh, so yeah, we moved into stream room. Uh, um, we're on stream. Ask first. There is the room status. Actually, Mandy, you have admin. You should be able to join any channel you want. Yeah. All right. Now back to painting an axe. Ooh. No worries. Take your time. And you know the minute you put your headset on, Susie's going to want pads. Speaking of which, I will be right back. I need to pour myself some more wine. Yay, wine. Wait, when did you get wine? Catherine went to the store while we were chatting and came back and had a glass of wine. Keeper. Oh, yeah. Be right back. Okay. I just love now when Mandy is starting a craft stream, Susie's right there like, what you doing? Poor Furwick is like, what did I get myself into? I just showed up. Right? Because when we started, Zero's like, enjoy for me. I only have LaCroix. Oh, really? Blame Springleaf. Ooh, that was close. I almost dipped this in the red instead of the gunmetal. I didn't even see this. This is the first time hearing about it, but you all don't understand my deep love for Cowboy Bebop. That was one of my anime gateway drugs. Y'all don't y'all don't know. That or I'm gonna ask Kawaii Guy when they next go to Japan, be like, so will you happen to be in Japan when this launches? Uh, I still have old manga of X Clamp. Hey, April. So I actually set up a Crunchyroll account after seeing Urban Bohemian <coughs> tweet 
that anime is called My Boss is My Boss is like a creep or a stalker or something. And I was like, what is happening here? And back. Welcome back. Uh, by chance, do you remember the anime that Herb shared or retweeted called My Boss is like a weirdo? My Boss is something. Like that, yeah. Hey, pirate. Shit. I'm blanking. Hey, pirate. Uh, yeah, like he retweeted something. And it was like the clip was two dudes on a train. Um, and the guy like offered his subordinate keys to his house, which is not a thing you do in Japanese culture. No. No. Uh, pirate, we're in the stream room. If you do feel up to hanging out on chat. Still. With time zone, I did not know if you'd be back in time. I say time zone differences. Also, I just look, realized it's 9.30, but I, for once in my life, I'm not tired. Nice. Yeah, imagine what actually eating properly and taking vitamins does for you. Hey. Yes, my boss is goofy. Thank you. <gasps> And then when I saw that was the title, I'm like, y'all are fucking with me. That is not the actual <laughs> title. But apparently it is. There was one I had seen a couple months back, something to the tune of I've reincarnated as a vending machine or something. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't keep up with it much these days, and I feel bad about that, but I also don't have a whole lot of access to anime, so... I'm only I'm only willing to watch what I can get with a free Crunchyroll account. Right. Oh God, pirate! Pirate, you missed it. We were talking about barbarian titties earlier, or tiefling titties. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it's an after dark stream. So talk of tiefling titties and Vecna thirst. Yeah. There's fanfic. A lot of lotion was involved. You can Andy for that one. Yeah. And olive I, oil. Thank you, Catherine. I feel like Mandy should pop up at the mention of Withers and, and the lotion. Like, that's your doing, ma'am. I think she's still looking for a dongle. I mean, of course. <laughs> what a Vecna. <laughs> Mandy has to explain this in person once she's finally on on the call. That that's oh, yes, Leaf. That's her. Um, there was talk about other uses for Vecna's hand, you know, the usual. Yeah, some people like Vecna's hand in the biblical sense. Yep. Some people like it in the Muppet sense. Go with God and anime, and I hope you're getting paid for it. They make the eye watch. <laughs> you know? You no, know, we're saying this shit, and I have the eye of Vecna sitting on my shelf behind me right, with the hand. So that's a whole new spin on things. In fairness, Vecna should also be slathered in lotion. But we know Vecna's a Lich King. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mandy. Also, also, I understand that he is a Lich. Yes. But technically, his waist to hip ratio is very good. Oh. I have not looked at Vecna that deeply, Mandy. Wow. Oh. I'm wrong, though. I'll have to this pull up a did. picture of Vecna. <laughs> Mandy wishes to slather them undead hips. Oh, shit. No. Not like this. No, I was uh, working on pants when somebody was talking about Vecna previously. And I was like, I can't not see the, like, having to do tailoring adjustments for hip to waist when looking at this character <laughs> as I'm doing that on a pair of pants myself. Oh, my God. Does he even wear pants? <laughs> 
I don't know. I have not studied Vecna this deeply. The this opens up the conversation to whether or not Vecna goes regimental. So you know, I thought the phrase was commando. Commando. Yeah, we'll go commando. He's a lich. Did the same rules apply? Here's your next question of the day, Mandy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, you should give the chat your question from last night. Oh, what was uh? We went through a lot of questions last night. The bite strength, uh, the PSI oh, of a yes. zombie's bite. Oh right, right. Wait, right, right. Okay, chat. Question of the day from yesterday was, what is the bite strength of a zombie? And could they, on first chomp, bite through either leather or uh, Kevlar jeans? Is it sad that I know the answer to this? How do you know the answer? Your answer is compared to dimples. (laughs) Because of... um... Well, I posted it on Twitter and dimples responded. Ah. Yeah, so there are studies uh, and after photos of victims who have been attacked by someone under the influence let's just say with adrenaline going i can tell you for denim at least the answer is yes they will go through denim. okay Wait, but this is an... kevlar denim is so kevlar people under denim the influence a thing? of like of uh bath salts and whatnot i'm they sorry will absolutely do it be... yeah so you mean like zombie dude from florida yeah so if a living person can do that under the influence, an undead person who is not feeling any pain absolutely do it. Okay, but Kevlar jeans. Kevlar jeans? How they do make Kevlar on... jeans? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the reason for all of this was because I was watching the live action of Dom 100 on Netflix and then Train to Busan. Uh, and the dude was riding around in Zom 100 on a motorcycle. In my mind, I'm going, well, if you're going to ride a motorcycle, two things that you might wear on a motorcycle are either like good leather Uh or they make reinforced jeans that are essentially Kevlar. Oh, in that case, then absolutely. Yes. Because there's a reason Kevlar is not allowed on the fencing. Are teeth equivalent to fencing? Teeth in, um, depending on the tooth as the same diameter and cutting, um, not cutting, puncturing prowess as the end. And we'll absolutely go through Kev. It'll just part it because it'll just slip right through the woven cloth. So this is interesting because the flip side is that apparently this is something Dimples has looked up about the bite strength of humans uh-huh. giving uh, extra strength to zombies because we're going to assume that they don't have to worry about like pain or fear of blood or like biting too hard. Yeah. And that they still theoretically would not be on the upper end comparable to dogs who cannot... Uh, who rarely can bite through in first chomp, typically. Yeah. Um, and, and that's like, if they're going to gnaw on you, I assume they're going to get through through the fabric. Uh, but like the very first bite. And also, uh, Blackjack brought it up, because this then went into the like, well, how decayed are they? Are we going with the zombies that do decay and eventually die? Are we going with the zombies that are like hyper-strengthened because their dead cells are replicating and so somehow they get stronger? Do you know, are their teeth chipped? <laughs> Yeah. Like, do they have teeth? If a zombie bites you and they have no teeth, it's just their gums. Oh my would God. you become a zombie? No, oh, because at that point you're just a Werther's original. They're nomming you. <laughs> well, are you a Withers original? Oh, Withers original. Well, this is excellent um uh research for the Wither's fanfic because he looks like a biter. Ooh, also uh Marion, I'm sorry, it went too fast. I didn't read the whole thing. Chad's going, yeah. Also, how long have they been a zombie? Do they deteriorate? What's their dental plan? Would it hurt as much? This one's Cypher's fault. What? A zombie that became a zombie but was wearing dentures. <laughs> it's a valid question. And if we're going to this level of detail, it's a valid question. <laughs> Like it, like. Listen, like my my Pirate, logic Please here join this us. chat and save us. <laughs> <laughs> da da da. Um, 
Well, no, because I was like, all right, well, then the other thing, too, is like, what type of zombies are we talking about here? Because there's so many different variations in zombies. And so it's like, have they been chomp, chomp, chomping on a whole bunch of things and their teeth are deteriorated? Or are they like, you know, are their teeth regrowing like the rest of them if they're not decaying? At what rate does the human body decay? (laughs) How old is a zombie? a zombie while wearing fake vampire teeth? Oh my god, zombies that became zombies, but during Halloween. So yeah. during costume. And not even like the, the nice vampire teeth. I'm talking the one piece plastic thing you got it as kids, vampire teeth. Wow. I feel like it would just be annoying. It'd be like a zombie nomming on you because they have no teeth. You're just like, why are you here? Go away. Would you just like brush them off? Be like, you're not even a real threat. Go away. <laughs> Oh, like, get Reese. some teeth and come back. Okay, but here's a good question from Reese. What if a necromancer Ooh. made steel pointy dentures for their zombies? Clearly, they've been planning their zombie army for a while. Yes. I mean, they are, if they are a necromancer, probably so. Also, <laughs> we're here to help, Fernando. <laughs> Important question. You're giving your zombies better, better... <laughs> Steel pointy dentures, but if the zombie's deteriorating, what are you using as adhesive, and does it eventually just dissolve? Do zombies salivate? A uh, god, I hope not. I like how in all this, Chris pops into chat and then doesn't join the call. He's probably like, I don't want any of this. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I want nothing to do with it. Like, this Ow. was a mistake. I just, I, well, and then it was a, a, a mid-movie thought while watching Train to Busan, which if you all haven't watched, is oh, a very good so movie. Oh, so good. So, like, probably one of the best zombie movies I've seen. Uh, oh, for sure. It's, cur- it's currently on Netflix until, I think, the 22nd. I, I don't know where it's going after that, but, um. And I was also like, okay, what what type of zombies are we talking about here? Do they turn fast or do they turn slow? Because depending on what medium it is, that varies. And even in the movie, there's different lengths of time. Where it's like, when they want something to happen quickly from a story perspective, the zombie turns in like 10 seconds. But then when they're like, oh no, we got to draw this out because relationships, uh, then it like takes longer. And I'm going like, all right, is there an average time? Is it based on how old the zombie is? Oh no, pirate, I'm sorry. Oh no, not a tech meltdown. Don't worry, we got you covered. All of your zombie questions will be answered. <laughs> Maybe not well, but they'll be answered. Uh, I'm 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 fairly versed in zombies. I'm a huge Romero fan. Let's do this. Also, I'm just I'm painting an axe, the y'all. Real this is what hero I'm doing. Of that, <laughs> the real hero of that movie was the train operator. Wait, right? Busan? Yeah! Wait, okay, this movie's been out since like 2016 or something. Is there anybody in chat who hasn't seen it and does not want later movie conversation? I don't remember it, but I did watch it, but go ahead. It, this is your chance. Leave now if you don't want to get spoiled for Train for Busan or Muse's Stream. Like, because it's so good, I never... Like, it's when I tell people to watch Kingdom also on... Uh, oh, that's another Netflix. good one. Oh. Also fantastic. Very well done. I can't wait for when they finally do a full second season. Um, Is that happening? It was like greenlit years ago, but it was in the middle of everything happening with COVID. So oh. I don't freaking know when it's going to like legit happen. Um, also, if zombies turn slowly. Does that mean that you can just outrun them? Do you mean literally turn or change into a zombie? Like, turn as in they turn a corner slow? Well, like, if they zombieize slowly, does that mean that they will also be slow-moving zombies? Uh, necessarily. Thank you very much, Zack Snyder. I guess that's true. Depends on which media is your media of truth for what a zombie would be in real life. Yeah. All right, there we go. Pull out the laptop, so that'll at least do for now. Yay, pirate! Yay, Yay, pirate! So, are you? So, what is your zombie thoughts? I'm gonna need more context. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're writing a new Withers fanfic called Just no. the Tip. So, T- motherfucker. <laughs> We're also slathering him in lotion. Just re- put him in a tub full of it. Yep. Mm. Hi, Ferwick. That hurts me. On Ferwick a deep really spiritual need level. You for those, those Cowboy Bebop <laughs> magic cards. I don't know. He may say no after this conversation. <laughs> oh, how is oh, your we day? Had ask pirate? I forgot. <laughs> I don't know what we were asking, Pirate. There were we, so were continuing, that... we were continuing the conversation from Mandy's stream yesterday about the bite strength and PSI of zombies, and now <laughs> it's also turned into are zombies slow if they get turned slowly, and I'm just here like, you know what? I'm just painting this happy little axe. I mean, these are all very important questions to know about how you approach the zombie apocalypse. It's true. Listen, it's very important to consider your wardrobe when you're running away from zombies. It is. You need freedom of movement, but also enough robustness that you don't, you know, get bit. Just need to... Also, FLR is a terrible protective material, because once it has been struck once, it's worthless. <laughs> well, the logic is, for how it's used... Is with the intent that you get in a motorcycle accident and you're going to need to buy new ones anyways. Wait, I'm trying to like, figure out how the motorcycle came into this. No, it, because it was the thought starter of the dude riding the motorcycle in the zombie. Well, no, he was riding the motorcycle in the zombie movie okay. in Zom 100, the live action one. Yeah. And ended up seeing a bunch of people and they were like, there was a lady walking around and like, stockings and a skirt days into the apocalypse and i'm going like have you no survival instinct ma'am no fuck and then those those (laughs) those uh those thoughts kind of like crisscrossed into going like well if you're gonna ride a motorcycle in the zombie apocalypse shouldn't you be wearing like clothing and protection which like makes more sense in the context of zombies so wearing jeans stuff that's not easy to fight through and they're like all right well if you're gonna wear like jeans why not wear leather that's like thick and reasonably okay if you don't live in the desert but then there's kevlar jeans which is the thing you can buy and it is the thing that people that ride motorcycles buy so here's my question yes do zombies retain any sense of taste and if so is an adequate defense against zombie bites slathering yourself in icy hot? Ooh. Is I don't it our know. skin that they taste, or is it the rest of us? Because, like, would we taste different if you're, say, a vegetarian versus not? How, uh, that's the other question. How much of a uh, zombie's personality gets retained, and what happens if a vegan turns into a zombie? Are we really talking about zombie connoisseur here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then next time for our discussion of vegan zombies tossing the salad and end up discussion. But not in front of the salad. <laughs> That's a throwback reference. Well done. I'm like, it's all I can think of in this moment. One of you remind me why I'm friends with all of you again. I don't know. We don't, <laughs> you invited we, us we've here. We've questioned this for how long? No, we're the last people who answer this. I do appreciate. the umami of what they're biting. <laughs> that we're like, oh, to read from chat that went by and I missed it because we got distracted by this is the... <laughs> People being like, your vampire lover wants to bite you. It's romantic, but when your zombie bay wants to bite, everybody's like, is this the best idea? Correct. Wow. It The undead salad is the, is the lettuce you forgot in the back of the fridge that yes. stares at you when you open the crisper. No, this is absolutely... Wait, well, yes, but even more than that. Uh, this is... <laughs> 
This is the episode of Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> oh no. Oh that no. Is, yes. It is absolutely Toys in the Attic. Oh my god. That's what the undead salad is. So Furwick, you're hooking us up, speaking of Cowboy Bebop, right? Furwick's like, nah, I don't know none of y'all. We can no longer be trusted. I mean, I knew that before I invited you. I knew that already. Maybe we were trusted, like, the very first time. The very first. (laughs) Furwick. But never again after that. What did Furwick say? New computer. Well, first off, new computer, who this? Wow. Wow. (sighs) I'm glad I decided to stream after all, because I wasn't going to stream at first. We we are here for nonsense. Okay, so I got distracted, but... The true hero of Train Busan was absolutely the train operator. Especially because at the every time he's like, "All right, y'all, we're we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're getting." And the whole time I'm going like, "Dude, you can just abandon these people and save yourself." So is that what he you would that. do, Mandy? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like it's always going to be a balance between like trying to help the people around you and also letting the idiots be li- idiots. Cause there's always going to be one person that's just going to get everyone killed. Now you throw them off the train first. Yep. Yeah. But you don't know it's them to start with later on. Oh no, no. Once you know it's them, you throw them off the They're train. Gone. Yeah. Preferably at a high speed. I am straight up pulling an Indiana Jones no ticket maneuver and they're gone. Because it was definitely one of those where it's like, yeah, all right, you know, there's the balance of save yourself, but also help the people around you, but also screw that guy. Yes. All right. I'm leaving you alone for five minutes to get fresh water and get a bio break. I hope I don't regret this. Oh, no. It'll be fine. Uh Uh-huh. Well, like, like, what do you, what do you think we're gonna do? I've met all of you and spent time with all of you. We did fight I'm in camp that one time. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my headphones off. I can hear nothing. I'm just, I'm just a humble <laughs> painter. Oh, well, I, I would wear my headphones. I'm pretty sure you'd want me to wear them into the bathroom. I'm taking that silence, and I'm just going goodbye. (laughs) Which reminds me, I need to go back and watch, uh, pull the clips from last night, because Marker still isn't freaking working, Nightbot. Oh, shit. While we're on the subject of zombies (laughs) tasting people, if there are different kinds of soup dumplings, oh, we gotta get dimples in here. Humans are technically soup dumplings. I suppose each is different. What say you? I mean, would it be the, I guess, we would just be flavored differently, right? Like, some of us are squishier than others. Well, I mean, according to certain cannibal tribes, all humans taste like chicken. I mean, some of us would still be squishier than others. Listen, my salt content would be very high. Okay, well, oh, there, perfect, perfect example. Pirate, what would you taste like? Business and regret. Why why are you tasting like a white claw? <laughs> no, that t- that tastes like poor choices. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> All right, chat. What what do you taste like? Oh, this is going to open Pandora's box. Let's do it. You're in a zombie movie. What what do you taste like to a zombie? This is on to a zombie. <laughs> It's back on the menu, boys. What are you cooking up as? 
I'm just like, I'm just salty. AD Lock 34, sponsored by Morton Salt. There are also promo sleeves, or I'm sorry, promo cards for work. How much is that, relatively speaking? Google. Nobody just got home for a big hot pot dinner a little while ago, so uh, Tom Cobb Roth. Tasty. Um. Berwick would taste about $20. What? No. Oh, sorry. I missed Berwick the previous comment from Berwick. <laughs> you heard it here for, first, folks. Berwick tastes like uh, about 20 bucks. Uh, oh. Gotcha, Berwick. I saw the previous comment. Okay, yeah, yeah. There are supposedly promo cards, too. I care about the cards more than anything else. <laughs> Tinder. That's another interesting question. It's like they're undead. Again, depending on the media that you ascribe to when it comes to your zombies of choice. Would pharmaceuticals in humans have any effect on the undead? Well, obviously it would make them taste different. What are you all? What are you miscreants doing? I think the way you said that was like a bad <laughs> child. Not Zero's fault. It's not for once. Not my fault. What did you do, Andy? I mean, you technically started this. I just said oh, I, I am seed it. There's a difference. <laughs> I am seed it. I... If a zombie took a chomp chomp on you, what would you taste like? Mm. Right now, I'd probably be very bitter and salty. I wouldn't be sweet at all. The, like the loss of innocence. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get bit by a zombie more than once and it's the first time special? Wow. Are you asking me? Are you reading chat? <laughs> if you are to eat, I would taste like whiskey and strawberry banana Cheerios. That's specific. Ooh, strawberry banana. Did it say? Hold on. If you if a, to if a zombie to took a chomp out of me, literally right now, I would taste like Coke Zero and um, chicken, potatoes, and green beans. It would taste like. Egg tostadas and red wine. Or it tastes like port. But I also should have water. Oh, yeah, it's a, sorry, for work. it's the section further down where they talk about the second campaign that hasn't been revealed that people found stuff related to it. That's what I care about. Um, I just knocked something off my desk and I have no idea what it was. Oh, well. Okay, I get easily distracted, y'all. All right, um... Up the quilt. What? Alright, <laughs> chat only... is having a time. Are y'all okay? Oh. No, that maybe. What qualifies as an organic free range human? A vegan. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm gonna have to use that next time. Okay, so what about Mm -hmm. If a zombie took a bite out of somebody who's high, would the zombie become high? How high are you before the zombie bites you? Uh, I don't know enough about... Drugs? Well, I was going to say about, like, dosages to say, like, what's the threshold you need to be that something you take a bite, or, like, something a, taking a bite out of you would be. On would... a scale of college student to Keith Richards, how high are you? <laughs> That's also well, a good question. What drug? Anything that would have a, a uh, impairing effect. Basically, can we get, like, a high zombie? If you were like Cheech and Chong high, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be their follow-up movie. 
Would we just make them not? Ooh, would we just make them not more? Oh, they'd get the munchies. Oh shit. Do are are do zombies not perpetually have the munchies? Are you a Already? greedy zombie? Do you, how much brains do you really need in one day? What is what is the nutritional service? <laughs> <laughs> of a zombie? Oh no, no. Human. of human. Of brains. We need to get the USDA on the phone here. Uh, I like how part like is just like discussion. you get hit by two different types of zombies. Wait, now we're classifying there's different types of zombies? Yes. They're so you become a hybrid zombie, obviously. Or they uh, cancel each other out and you become immune. Hi pirate. <laughs> Late night ramen. Zombie quilts. Pirate's like, I Pirate's regret. Like, I want nothing to do with this. I regret I, joining I, this call. No, Pirate's still just troubleshooting Bluetooth bullshit. So oh, like, he's there. Oh, no. He's just. You know, I thought you were just brain. like, I want no parts of this shenanigan. <laughs> what is the zombie what? equivalent of Netflix and chill? Ask a mind flayer. They'd know. Yeah, uh, right. Listen, we're just roasting them to make them uh, takoyaki, so... Ow. Oh. Mandy, some days I, have I done deeply... This in a game. I deeply worry about you some days. Listen, I'm not we the one did who this slept in a charity with the Emperor game. because this I wanted a, a piece thing. of that calamari. I, 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 I enjoyed the calamari. It wasn't that great. It was well. In in fairness, that was victory calamari, very different from just regular. That was we survived. There is no god. <laughs> that one was my fault. I was the one who was like, "We're roasting this mind player and eating them like takoyaki," and everybody's like, "Okay, that's where we're ending." Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about lotion at that point or lube. What are, are you, you using mind players for? <laughs> yeah, I'm just like I I was about to say something and I don't know where to go. I Ferwick, I don't think even Andraste can help at this point. Hi Puddle, I'm from the internet. I'm here to help. Ferwick, are you saying you would not take a bite out of a mind player if you could? It's a delicacy. I almost so use your sure. Cambians. Yeah. Oh, this VOD's gonna get me kicked off Twitch. Thank you, DC. Wow, DC is just being filthy tonight. Wow. It is an after dark stream. I know, I'm not used to DC being filthy though. So have you watched Eroka Erotsuka Doja then, DC? And if you get that reference <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> We're really bringing Legend of the Overfiend into this. Awesome. DC said it. That's fair. DC said it. Listen, I don't even go here. <laughs> Mandy's like, now I regret joining this call. Hi, Mandy. Hi. I mean, that's why I used the Japanese name. I was trying to be a little subtle. Nope, I don't do subtle. No I bears. There's no. Trust me, there are no bears involved in this. You're bringing zombie bears into this now? This is Furwick's fault. Oh. Wait, did Furwick say zombie bears? Oh. Oh my god, the next con we're all together. We <laughs> we should find fanfic, and or I will offer my own. Because uh -huh. just straight up, most of my Dragon Age fanfic is just straight up porn. I'm just telling you all this now. Okay. And have a dramatic reading in someone's hotel room. <sighs> oh my god, we should get Pirate to do it because he he's British. I mean, I've done the fanfic reading that was provided to me for the the thing where I hit the 1500 subs. Or, or and you did a damn good job. Oh, I know, I, but this I, would be I, in I, someone's I'm room. Full for... reading of Knights of the Reach Around, and I am more than happy to to provide the same service to any other fan fiction that people wish. 
because I just want to see your because I mostly because I'm an evil bastard is watch you read something you know that I wrote while I'm in the room. Ooh. I feel like that's like so many layers of embarrassment. Just like, oh, I'm not. I don't have people. an issue with this. Yeah, not for me. I don't give a shit. No, no I just kind of want to. I contact throughout the whole time. What? Well, no, no. The layers of embarrassment are like depending on how you read it. I guess technically. This is true. I could, I, I could either ham it up or try to be as deadly serious with it as possible. Eric like is a consummate professional. Face. Oh my god! I mean, I, I'm a, a con. I don't know so much about the summit, but you know, an absolute professional actor. Eric will give it the due process and gravitas that it deserves. I don't know if a polyamorous foursome involving whips and chains deserves all that it'll get it all the same because again mm -hmm. pirate professional and pirate will never speak to me again that's far from true i reserve the right to follow up pirates reading uh by excerpts of 50 shades of gray no none in the style of skeletor I don't care who you read it as. I I refuse. Different book. To <laughs> I will. Mm. We're done in the style of Skeletor. I just like my soul leaves my body when that book is mentioned. Uh, that's absolutely. That did such a disservice to the idea of kink. Uh -huh. I hate it. Yeah. I'll have that's to write right. something for me. Oh, That's why reading as as Skeletor is is hilarious. What about reading my mortal in the style of Skeletor? I'd be for it. Isn't my mortal almost like I'm Ebony Dark Moon Raven or whatever the fuck? Say, that, that's that one like super emo Harry Potter one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I mean, really, everything is funnier when you read it as, as Skeletor. It's true. This is true. Purple for our queen, Carlac. Ooh, that's a nice purple, too. Oh, by the way, my question earlier, because I misheard you, uh -huh. was I thought you said Carlac's ass. Oh, I mean, that's, I, that's bog standard red. I was but the way the question ass. was asked, I was like, I missed all of those scenes. Was it not red? <laughs> No, I was painting her ass. That's what made it worse when I said that. You meant her axe, but I yes. heard her ass. I mean, she's got a lovely ass. So I had a moment where I'm like, I have questions. <laughs> You're like, I mean, you know, <laughs> ass, ass, both are suited for great cleavage. Thank you. Motherfucker. So, anywho, this is where we get booted uh, out of the call. Yes. No, it's not where you get booted out of the call. Pfft, goodbye, Gail. Mandy, did you tell Gail to get out and that's what happened? No. I just, I, it's, I find it funny because I knocked Gail over by mistake. I'm like, if it was a stirring, yes. Absolutely. Get out. <laughs> I do appreciate that you yelled get out from the from the audience. <laughs> that part? Listen, I I have to remain consistent. Wait, you, you did what now? Oh, it's uh, primer. Uh during the Baldur's Gate three panel that Cypher and crew did at Pax East. At one point, Asteri came up and I yelled, get out from the crowd. I'm so proud of you. You would be. <laughs> Gail heard about the forbidden Listen, I, I can't unsee. Gail is essentially <laughs> is essentially the Gosric of Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. 
Oh yeah. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, but wow. He just makes everything weird. Every conversation, like, dude, seriously. I mean, that's what he's there and for. And I feel like he would absolutely be like, "It's not weird. I swear, it's not." Mm-hmm. And I appreciate <laughs> that both. Masood and Latia are like, you're not wrong, but I refuse to acknowledge this. <laughs> wow, did you see what Farwick said? <laughs> Hard. Like, no, Is I it do forbidden? Want takoyaki. Mm, mm, Is it forbidden, mm, though? No. No. Straight up normal, good takoyaki. And, um,. Nagi, that matter. I would love some Unagi. Blackjack, are we driving you to drink? Oh, no. Poor Blackjack. It's like, well, I know what's going to happen next time we're all together. Thank you for tuning into the tonight's stream. Prehensile pleasures. Join us next time. And that's how I got banned off Twitch. Okay, that's too dark, but I'm I'm committed to the bit now. You just you got to make sure it shines through. So if it's a little dark, that's okay. Well, it's dark and it's on black primer. That's I should have just gone with the regular wood brown that I have. A zombie eats Gail's arm. Does it taste like the sad leftovers of no longer having Mistress Love? Ow. Jesus. Well, as Mandy would say. Well. That's just like, Jesus, man. Damn. Please don't make me feel bad for Gail. Please. Oh, shit, I still have some Oreos I didn't get rid of. Well, somebody, somebody's going to get Oreos. Because I think I really if wanted. I... What, Oreos? Yes. I mean, if you really want Oreos, I can send you some more. Not these, they're open, but I can send you some Oreos. Nah, nah, you're good. I just <laughs> think it's funny where it's like, yes, I will take them. I will actually give Oreos full marks. Their gluten-free version tastes exactly like normal. That's damn hard to do. Oh, really? I didn't know. I did not know there was a gluten-free version of Oreos. Actually, yep. they make uh, gluten-free normal Oreos, double stuffed, and the mint. Very tasty. Oh, nice. Wait, so that means yeah, I broke down and ordered a bunch of stuff, and I have too many sweets in my apartment now. Uh, so what it actually tastes like to a zombie is generational guilt and parental disappointment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Well, send the therapy bill. I mean, if I wasn't already drinking, that would do it. Well, where are I have 8 billion I appreciate packages. appreciate all of your all's answers, considering mine was like, I'll just be salty. In general? No, if a zombie ate me. Oh. Uh, but also in it? general. <laughs> also in general. I was like... I, how... I don't feel like I'm the sal- saltiest of people, but... But that zombie would get their daily salt. Uh-huh. They would hit their minimum threshold for sodium in no time at all. Some archaeologist is going to find this VOD. <laughs> Do zombies have, like, minimum nutritional intake? We started to talk about that and then distracted ourselves. This tracks. Because Do they need enough protein in a single day? Can wh- zombies get dehydrated? Aren't they? Asking now, I mean, we have to ask if zombies can get scurvy. <laughs> I'm like thinking about it now. Jory's like, if anything made me want a shot. Pirate, you, you want to weigh in on that one? 
what if zombies can get scurvy? Yeah. I mean, it, it. I mean, what are the nutritional needs of a zombie? Are do uh, why do the zombies? Do, are, are these zombies that devour brains? Do they just devour? Well, actually, no, because if they devour flesh, are they zombies or are they ghouls? Where does the oh, distinction lie? That's an excellent uh, point. Uh, fun fact: Are zombies about the technically first... cryptids? Because I remember, th- I can't remember where I read this before, but I saw some theory that the reason that zombies are devouring of human brains is because of the the the, the neurons, the human, the neurons firing the electricity in the human the brain, the nutritional from, value that they need. It's them trying to chase down that remnant of being human, and so trying to eat other people's brains is why. That's why they they chase that down. Is they're trying to chase down the neurons. Wait, we had this argument. I think in, in this conversation came up in in my typical October streams. I feel like <laughs> it may well have. <laughs> I feel like, because I was like, aren't they just cryptids? And everybody's like, well, there's a difference. It depends on whether we're going by D&D rules. Uh, and what you... How you define a ghoul. I was just uh, about to question... say... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, the question is, I think, that determines whether zombies are cryptid or, cryptids or not, is has anyone made a uh, visual novel dating sim about them? <laughs> <laughs> is that a metric for... <laughs> if they sh- oh. haven't, they should have. Oops, zombies nailed my neighbors? I mean, I do have Unreal Engine 5 installed. You can make this happen. Or Wait, twine. are you watching somebody else's zombie dating sim? Does that doesn't that just make you a voyeur? Me? Wow. That was a general you. Based wow. on the title that Zero just gave. Oh. I'm glad you I wasn't echo. actually drink, drinking anything. Now, to echo uh, Tanya's previous question, why am I friends with y'all again? You showed up Hold here. Hold on. <laughs> you showed up here. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. And you went all in on this question, but now you have regrets? It's a little fucking a little late. It's a little, a little fucking bit. late right now. The problem I mean, is I'm starting to think about the work process of making this a thing. <laughs> I mean, Twine Listen, you're exists. You're the one who titled that dating sim, so therefore I had to ask. Look, Twine is very easy to download and use. You, <laughs> you could make the graphics. We once you're done with the with the tarot deck, we could do a Kickstarter. Oh God! The sad part is how easily that would get funded. The Vecna enjoyers would would fund it. Uh huh. One night stand of the living dead. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're not looking for everlasting romance, just a one night stand? That's all they get, because zombie, if, if we go with zombies are chasing brains for the, rem, the dopamine hit of remembering what it was to be human, that's all you get, because they're basically yeah. going to use, they're going to be like a can opener in the morning. Yeah, me and my partner are in an open grave relationship. Well, you become a zombie after they bite you. I would think so. Your one night stand, assuming, assumingly, are you just now like in a partnership as zombies, or do you now go look for other humans? Oh no, DCS. Is a zombie horde a polycule? Is a horde proper term for a group is, of zombies? Isn't a horde more than four? The proper term for for that sort of relationship model with zombies is it's a for <laughs> You all owe me reparations. <laughs> please give Cypher in these tracks. Yes, please. Please do Cypher a kindness. 
Wow, Mandy just hit the throne. I'm separated from y'all by an ocean. <laughs> no, that's when you just throw the coffee link out. I said reparations. Yep. I wasn't even thinking. I was like, first thing that comes to mind is buy gifts. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. I uh, so Mandy, we should submit a TwitchCon panel that's just a comedy hour of these questions. <laughs> I am two hundred percent serious. Is it ethical to keep your friend as a pet if they're a werewolf? <laughs> I mean that's your title for your panel right there. Yeah. And it's in late September, so it would be appropriate for the season. Wait, what DC like? asked a question and it scrolled by one second. A zombie bites me, then I cook up some zombie flesh. What do I taste? I don't know. Eggo waffles? Damn. How fresh of a zombie is it? That's a better question. Wow. Is it artisanal fresh zombie? Artisanal fresh zombie. Yeah, we get those at Whole Foods. <laughs> like, did you buy a prepackaged zombie, or did you go to the local equivalent of a would would if you were buying zombie, would it be like the local butcher or no? Is that even oh, a yeah. thing? I prefer my zombie to be farm to table. Yeah, uh, if you don't have fresh zombie, store bought is fine. Are you sure? What's, it so has what, to be in this economy. Wait, what would the zombie equivalent of PETA be? Oh. That would be, the acronym would be PETS. Yeah, which is a pretty good, that's, that's an interesting, uh, interesting acronym. So what does it stand for? People for the Ethical <laughs> Treatment of Zombies. Oh, P-E-T-Z, which... Okay. Which wasn't that an old school like PC game? Yes. I'm yeah. just imagining the like movie resort, but they put in the Z instead of the S to make it zombie themed. I'm like, is that what's what we're doing here? <laughs> could be. Oh, see, now this could be a horror film though. So, premise: it's Halloween season. You book a weekend and what you think is going to be like a horror weekend, like what Universal does, except it's run by zombies and they lure you there. There's like some intelligent zombies. They lure you there because they need to eat. They also need to replenish their numbers because they always lose some during this event. It's like the purge. And... Everyone thinks like, oh, ha ha, really good zombie effects. And then the next day, the clueless white girl that runs to the noise is a zombie. Ooh. This is giving me Return of the Living Dead vibe. Before. I was thinking like the zombie vampire, whatever they are from I Am Legend, where they're like, like smart enough to think. Well, here's the thing. Return of the Living Dead is one, the movie that started the zombies brain big. That's literally where it comes from. Two, in the movie, the zombies talk. They eat brains because they can feel themselves decay and the brain acts as sort of an anesthetic that lessens the pain of it. So there's literally scenes of them attacking an ambulance crew, calling on the radio, send more ambulances. I do not remember this from when I watched it, but it's been a while, so yep. that's probably why. I like so I, this premise. The idea of an intelligent zombie is actually quite horrifying when you think about it. Right? Well, that's that's kind of how Romero was going with um, his Of the Dead series when you get to, like, Land of the Dead. You have zombies mm. that are clearly thinking, they're clearly using weapons and tools and stuff. So, yeah, I'd be for it. I mean, wasn't there that whole like comedy style TV show where that was kind of the premise where like the oh, main character yeah. was a zombie, like I zombie, she's a zombie, but she works as a mortician. So yeah. That's how she yeah. She solves murders or something. I never saw it, but I, I remember that premise. Was it like she, I, if I remember the premise correctly, it was like she could eat the brain 
of whoever died and she would like get their memories or something? Yes. And that's oh, how she Santa solved Santa Clarita died was a different one. The what now? The Santa Clarita Diet, it was a comedy series starring Drew Barrymore, who ended up becoming a zombie and had to stuff, but it was also uh, maintaining a, a home and family life. Mom, I'm a zombie? Such a, no, such the Santa Clarita li- uh, Diet. Oh, okay. That sounds like yeah, a lot of Yeah, it was on money. Netflix. That sounds like a whole thing. Oh, it was. I don't remember this show at all. Oh, I never saw that show, but I, I do specifically remember the ads for it because I remember seeing them on a bunch of the, the bus stops around New York City uh-huh. because the, the ads were severed fingers in like a French fry container. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I Clearly memorable, if slightly horrifying. It was effective marketing. <laughs> I remember it. I'm loving it. You remember the ad, even if you don't remember what it was for, or you don't remember like what it, it didn't entice show, yeah. you to watch the thing. I should Look, say. Yeah. I'm uh, hold on. I found the. I'm gonna drop the 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 link to this in in chat. I think I just found it. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Because I had a moment of, wait, shit, am I misremembering this? Did I actually see this? No, I did. <laughs> I, I am remembering this correctly. Wow. Yep. Yes. It's kind of proof of, like, you could have a, a really good marketing idea, but if people don't connect it to your final product, have you done it? it mm-hmm. or have they you done really did not well? have their finger on the pulse of advertising, did hey. they? In my case, to be fair to them, it's, it would have inter- interested me in watching it. It's just I don't really watch a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, that happened. Hey, finger food. Yep. That was the wow. only thing I think they probably made this stand out to me was the pun. I mean, that's not that, that's literally what the ad campaign's called. I just got brass paint everywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, no. it was like slowly squeezing out, and then it just went sploot. Oh, I hate when that. So I've wasted some of this paint because I don't think I'm gonna need that much for this thing, unless I also I'm find something else to paint. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna hit the 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 um bands on the barrel, but it's just like, well, that happened. Because I was going to paint this this clearly broken pot. Wait, is that a tongue? Or is that just a destroyed pot? Uh, destroyed. All right, Night Puddle. Puddle's like, Night I regret. Puddle. Puddle's like, I regret coming here. <laughs> Oh, luckily I did not get any on my shirt, I don't think. Because paint's actually hard to get out of your shirt. But I still, that's way more paint than I think I'm going to ever need right now. It looks like a tongue, but... Oh, I know, I was being goofy. It was very on theme. Um... This is tomorrow is going to be one of those days where I really need someone to basically just sit and make me do stuff. You're doing or to, the uh, office stuff tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to try to at least get it to a point where I don't, ugh, I don't feel so hemmed in by stuff. There's just stuff literally everywhere. Like you get, obviously can't see it because it's my work computer, but the desk was my work computer. I've got a bin behind me that has a bunch of like like 3D printer stuff, a bunch of like mini painting and other stuff that I 
and wires that I just got out of the way because they were yeah. just taking up space everywhere. I said, that was a very full bin and it needs to get out of here, but I need to make space to get it out of here. I basically have the catch 22 of it's in the way, but I can't get it out of the way until I make more room. Right. So it's going to be one of those starting from left to right. This is how I'm dealing with this room. I'm going to step that in the wrong. Just chip away at them little by little. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's just one of those things of once I start, I'll probably get on a roll and get a lot done, but it's the sitting down and starting part. Yeah. I don't know what to do with this melted part of this pot. Like, do I paint it a different color? Was there food in it? Like, what happened to this pot? Like, why did it break? That's the fun part. What kind of story you want to tell? I don't know. I was thinking about painting it like old gold and maybe if I can pull it off is doing some kind of coinage. Ooh, that'd but, be cool. But it's like very it's smooth like 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 there's liquid or something pouring out of it. So I might paint it blue or use the water effect paint that I've got. Yeah. Cuz it looks more like something is pouring out of it. I gotcha. But you stay there because that pot is taking a while. All right. I think I'm going to do a little bit more on Carlac's arms and then maybe call it because it's 1030, y'all. Yeah, I just oh, realized what time it is. I got stuff I need to be doing tomorrow. So I think I'm going to roll. No okay. worries. How late it was. I didn't either until I looked at my phone. What's his time? Not a thing I keep track of, clearly. That's okay. Thank neither you. did I. <laughs> being the catalyst for such sparkling conversation. Listen, I asked some weird questions and then I found I appreciate that. To, to hear them. It was a fun conversation. Agreed. Um yeah, right. but I realized I totally skipped over Carlex's arms. So, I'm going to try to do a little bit on that and then I'm going to call it cuz while I don't well, I don't really have anything to do until evening tomorrow. Like, I don't have anywhere to be. I also don't want to sleep the whole day away, you know? Yeah. It's late for all of you, minus pirate. It's only 10.30 for me. Oh, it's like yeah. 8.30 for you, pirate? 8.30, but, but the flip side to that is I keep an East Coast schedule. Ooh. Yeah, so you're up really early. So Ooh. it's still late. Because I, you know, my work day starts at six a.m., so I'm usually trying to get to bed by like ten. Yeah, yeah, but it's also the weekend. All right. Well, all of y'all have a fabulous evening. As always, fun to hang out and chat. Uh, and I'm sure I'll see you all around the internet. Yes, Take thanks. care, Mandy. Thanks for hanging out. Bye. 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 Um. But yeah, I'm basically going to get a coat of black on on these arm pieces. And then, because um, I still need to clean up the kitchen after I cooked earlier. Because uh, <laughs> I am not good at keeping a schedule and meal planning. If anyone That's in the chat is good at that. <laughs> yeah. Also, just cooking every day is bullshit. It's so much work. Really, I can tell you one thing if not for Catherine, I... you totally I straight up what I could do from the microwave. Well, and the bad thing is, is like I can look for, for diet, diet friendly recipes that they you can literally filter them down to you. no cooking, one pot, easy no chopping yeah. like you can get down to a what can i make that will take me like 10 minutes that i can have quickly and sometimes i'm still like that's too much work and it's just my own lack of a good habit versus oh. 
any inability to cook or anything like that. Yes. Yeah, that's why I've, uh, I used, um, I used, was it Factor, one of those like meal prep service things for that reason. Oh. Because, or because otherwise, I'm terrible at cooking. So I just get stuff I can bung in the oven that's all pre made and it's way cheaper for me because otherwise I wind up just eating out or ordering in all the damn time. Mm, gotcha. And so that way it's like, no, I don't have to think about what I'm making because somebody else made those choices for me. So yay. Now, is it worth it for you? Or because I tried HelloFresh before and I wound up with a lot of waste because if there's any delay in shipping, I found the meat didn't last very long. So okay. the difference so for me, I guess it's easier because I don't get anything with meat in it. But the service I use isn't like because HelloFresh is one of those, I think, that they send you the stuff and you have to like make it yourself. This yeah. is not that. The service I use is it's all pre-made. You just either you can stick it in either the oven or I do the oven because it tastes better that way, and also I don't have a microwave. But it's all pre-made. So you don't have uh, to actually prep it. You just you just bung it in the oven and boom, you're good to go. Uh, and I like Factor because they actually season their fucking food. Like some of the dishes actually have a nice little kick to it. It's nice. But, so it's, it's, yeah, it is a little on the, I, for, for, I, get, I get like, what, eight meals a week. So it's good enough for four days. And it's like a hundred something a week. But compared to the amount that I, my lazy ass spends on either eating out or ordering in, if I don't, it's way cheaper. It saves me so much fucking money. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's just for me, if I like, let's say if my partner and I live together and I was doing this and I knew it would feed at least two people, I don't think I would be as... God, I have to like think of a meal and cook it and buy right. the groceries. Yeah, that's the other factor is living alone for me. Obviously, it, it would be it would be different if I lived with other people, but yeah, I don't. So, well, and you know, prior to all the things I'm having to change, I would have easily had you know I would have either ordered in or I would have had something incredibly not good for me for dinner or just snacked. And yeah. now since I have to make those changes, um, I can't just eat a bullshit meal and call it a night or even just snack and be like, well, I ate something. I need to actually think about what I'm eating. Yeah. Because let me tell you, learning to read food labels is bullshit. Nope. And this is brought to you by still being bitter to have to make all these changes. Sympathies. Although, um, Zero, depending on what we get into Sunday, there's a cafe near me that actually had really good gluten-free bread. And if they hadn't told me it was gluten-free, I don't think I would have known. Ooh, nice. <laughs> like, it wasn't dry. It, it actually had flavor. Because that's, yeah. that's what I've found with some gluten-free baked products is it's not that – I don't and I don't know what it is. also like um, vegan cake. I've yet to find vegan baked goods that are delicious. Yeah. It's, it's fucking tough. Whenever we do find a good one, like, yeah, it's pricey, but we'll shell out for that because it makes us feel a little bit more normal. Yeah, and you know, it's not like, oh, I can never have sweets again. It's, I need to be mindful of this, especially as I adjust to it. And as I discovered, if I have regular sugar now, I feel like shit. And I can taste the difference after just two months. Alrighty, well, I am going to go ahead and toddle off and wind down the evening in the bathroom, but thank you so much for having me on. This was fun. I'm going to finish this arm, and I'm going to call it myself, because again, I normally am not on the slate, <laughs> um, and I do, I basically just want to get 
this little bit of armor and then I'm calling it. Sounds good. And good night, you two. Night. He's up. Um, how is the goodest boy today? He's good. He's he's sleepy. Aw. Yeah. You know what's funny is I keep finding random Kira's hairs in the apartment. Yeah, he sheds like a motherfucker. It's ridiculous. It's one of the reasons why I was desperately trying to find a place that had only hardwood floors. Which thankfully I did, but yeah. I did no, not it's... be a carpet place with him. You wouldn't think a greyhound would shed as much as he does, but there we are. It's also like, but I miss Kira. He is the best pupper. Yeah, I was just like, aw, Kira's hair. Proof he was here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kiros was very much a hit with my coworkers. Oh, yeah, because we have a pet channel, and I was like, okay, not my dog, but I got to spend time with this very good boy. Ah, uh, yes. And people are like, oh my god, I love greyhounds. Yeah, it's gonna be weird not having him at uh, Pax Unplugged now. Yeah. I just got to figure out cons to go on, on this coast instead that I can bring him to. Well, are you still doing Dragon Con or no because of the move? Oh, I'm no, Dragon Con every year. That's that. That's not till September. There is no way I'm ever going to miss that. Oh, no, I just wonder because I, because, I mean, as we all know, moving is not cheap, let alone a cross-country move. Oh, no, but that's, that, mm, uh, that's my whole... That that's like high point of my year. Every year is Dragon Con. Yes, yeah, Sarah, she do. <laughs> Deja was was messaging me earlier. The same stuff because she saw about all the Dragon Age, uh, Dragon Age, uh, Baldur's Gate VAs who are going to be there this year. Theo is an absolute delight. Um, I actually sent Mark Mir a note because Mark goes every year. Oh yeah. And Theo's never been. I don't think he's been to Atlanta, and he's definitely never been to Dragon Con. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get them introduced. Nice. Why well, Mark's just good people? Oh yeah, he seems like it. Uh, every, every he does the uh, improvised D and D with Dad's Garage in Atlanta every year, and go to that. That's always a, that's always a hilarious time. Yeah, I. It's. It's funny because I will randomly just message Mark like, I miss playing D&D &D with you. Mm -hmm. Which I actually do. I just, and Mark's just like fun to be around. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Eros. Uh, also, if you're in Europe, it is very late for you or very early. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. New location for Kira is gone. Kira is gone. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe, I mean, tell possibly TwitchCon this year now that it's back in San Diego. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to figure out when I can just get out there just to go. Mm -hmm. Because the work trip is now in June. And um, the dates wrap around the Vampire the Masquerade thing I'm doing. So I can't. Ah. Um, and then when I get back, it'll be really close to when I leave for TwitchCon EU. Welcome back, Boba. Excuse me. Um, but next weekend is C2E2, and I get to hang out with Taru. Oh, yay. Yeah, and then um, one of the other mod folks from Neil's Discord is local and is going to come down Friday and Saturday. Oh, nice. Well, Latia will be there just on Friday, though. I should find my shirt that says I'm not her and everyone else black in TTRPGs and make yeah, sure we both your, wear it. Uh, I saw your post about that. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who has done official art for D&D &D saw me at Magicon hmm. and asked me how the community management job was going. Oh, boy. And man... They are very lucky it was public because uh -huh. mm. yeah 
Uh, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, Latia Jaquise and I look literally nothing alike. And people have not only called us each other at events, neither one of, it, one of us is an app. We have been standing next to each other at a convention, wearing a name tag, and been called the other person. If you're wondering why that happens, take 30 seconds to think about it. You heard me, Melissa. And later on, to their credit, I mean, they apologized in person, but they also sent me a additional, I fucked up, I'm sorry. I mean, I look, so I will tell the story as I'm cleaning up and putting stuff away. Um, I was, I was in LA for something not related to Crit Roll, but I happened to be there when Vox Machina season two premiered. And so... I got to hang out with Christina and I was waiting for her to finish talking to some people and someone looked at me and then looked at Christina and called her Quitty. Wow. Abria, for those who don't know, is six feet tall, much shorter hair, and a couple shades darker than Christina. Mm-hmm. Christina and Quitty look literally nothing alike. Oh, people, N.K. Jemison has stories of people mistaking her for Octavia Butler after Octavia Butler had died. And I'm just like, I would go on a rampage. And I realized I still have to use some of this brass paint, but it's a lot of paint and I don't feel like painting anymore. If I was using the wet palette, I could fix that. Yeah, Nora has stories of people mistaking her for Octavia Butler after Octavia Butler had died. And I'm like, you're better than me because I'd be in jail. I wouldn't be an author. And Octavia Butler was much darker skin, kept a short afro. If you've seen pictures of N.K. Jemison, she looks nothing like what Octavia Butler looked like when she was alive. Um, Pirate, before we end, are you streaming tomorrow? That is the plan. Um, we'll see if I can resolve these damn audio issues. But Yeah, that's weird. Cause you were... point, that's a... oh, what, what's super weird is I was literally on a Zoom call right before joining the stream and it was fine. So, and then all of my Bluetooth shit has quit out. So I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm uh, trying to figure it out now, but I at least got the audio and, and mic seems to have fixed. So if nothing else, I think I can probably just get away with using um, hardwired headset and call it good. Yeah. So, so yes, the plan is to do more rebirth tomorrow. Nice. I don't know. Ah, that. I shouldn't have put that there. But I needed to go somewhere. Um, I don't know what to do with the sandy part that the box and other stuff is on. That is the wrong leg. Because, nope, that was the right leg. Well. Maybe, yes, no. <laughs> Maybe possibly. Nope, I'm looking at it. It absolutely was. That was right. Because that foot rests on the barrel. And this foot goes here. So until I glue all of this. But yeah, basically this is how it kind of goes. Well, goodbye, Gail. And then an axe. I mean, it will rest in a different way, but there's oh, no part of Gale broke. Oh, no. Part of his spell thingy broke. It fell down too many times, but I should be able to fix it easily tomorrow. 
there's one more small piece to Carlex diorama that maybe that's what fell earlier. Because I've also got um, weapons, like the sheaths for her axes. Oh, here uh, they are. Yes. And then this little pot is what's missing over here. I, yeah, that may have been the little rope piece for her. Oh no, here it is. See, all of all of the one of the axes, all of that goes together. But this is gonna be a lot of work. I have no idea who's streaming now because I'm nor I'm never on this late. Um, let me take. Uh, Case is on. Sefi's on. Oh, okay. Bronze is on. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a interesting. Let's see. Bronze is playing Helldivers. K is Kesa actually on? Because he always has like a 20 minute go live screen. Let me check. Fresh slices of lemon. And once that's done, sim yeah, he's actually live. Yeah, but he's watching a weird food video. So, Kesa, Meg, K Meg's on. She's playing pal Palia. Um, or bronze because we never get to raid bronze. Any preference? I mean, it's up to you. It's, uh, if you haven't raided bronze in a bit, then that makes sense. Go get that hell divers. Of course. Good times, as always. Oh, that's fun. Yay. 